Pink Poodle Crafts, join the Poodle Pack. It's time to get creative and make you laugh. Make your own art today. Pink Poodle Crafts is the way. What a good boy. Hello, everybody's. Hello, hello. How's everybody doing? Look what I got. I got a pink drink or what's left of it anyway. I got me a pinky drinky. Because I'm pink poodle craft, so I must drink pink drinks always. I can't put anything but pink things in my body. <laughs> Let's see. Hi, Janie and Sharon and Bettina and Renee. Who else is here? Is that it? Hello, lady. <laughs> what are you guys doing? Nine of us? Well, I only see like five. Oh, there's Barbara. Now six. Where's the other three? Where are you at? Are you hiding? <laughs> Hi, Barbara. Oh, they're looking. That's okay. Remember when I made these tissue things? I have a bunch of them. Oops, that one got stuck. Took a, actually a couple days for them to dry because I forgot to flip them over so that they would dry on the other side. So two days later, I, I, I went and I was like, oops, I should have flipped these over because the bottoms of the stack of them was still wet. I know there's two of them here, but I can't get them apart. There we go. Oh, there's two here, too. Hi, Kay and Connie. How are you? Are you new here, Connie? Plop them on there. That one I used half of it for something. So Bettina sent me some papers. These were for our swap from a while ago. And I am. Oh, get to look at them now. There's a whole pile of yummy papers she made me. She gave me some blank pages. I did I gave her some blank, like when I say blank, undyed papers so that I can dye them the way I want to. And I gave her a bunch like that too. So that we had variety. I love papers like this that are like old looking already. Oh, this is like a folded paper. Cool. Did you dye this or does it did it kind of come like that? That's groovy. This one too. Ooh, that one's orange on that side. Purdy. Ooh, and then there's some cool watercolor papers. Ooh, she made it pretty. And that one, I like these. Those is cool. And then we've got these. I love typing paper. This is like a typing paper. And I love this kind of paper. It's fun to dye typing paper. I haven't seen typing paper like this with the lines in years. I'll put them on the bottom since they're bigger. And then there is these guys. Which these are like, I remember these kind of papers. What do they use these for? I forget. I don't know. But they're like thin kind of papers. Like almost like a newsprint, but not. Maybe it is a newsprint. I don't think it is, though. And then there is some really smooth 
what kind of paper is this? Like a like a printer paper of some sort, I think. Like a photo paper. Vellum paper? Is this like a vellum paper, I think? This one does? I would imagine, yeah, it kind of has that. That's cool. I like those. I may have to use some of those to spray my inkies on today. And then there's some what looks like watercolor papers. And then we've got... Ooh, so she did some rusty dye stuff. That looks cool. Ooh, pretty. Pretty. Looks like a deli paper type of thing. Really pretty. Ooh, what's this? What is this? Hi, Sherry. Hi, Bianca. Anybody else that's come in? What is this? Oh, this is like a handmade paper type of thing. Oh, these are like little. Oh, oh, that's right. You had mentioned something about these tiny little. They're cute. They're like these little tiny little handmade journals with just a few pages in them. <gasps> cute. Oh, these would make great little inserts in like, you know, like a vintage journal type of thing. Oh, those are so cute. And then there is envelopes. A couple of craft envelopes. Oh, that's right. Homemade by a friend. Cool. Those are cool. Yeah, I'll be doing homemade paper soon. I'm hoping because I have... Uh, oh, I <laughs> that blender. I got a blender from the Goodwill, but it don't work. It's not that it don't work. It works. It's just the, the picture on it, it like leaks. And I'm like, great. That's not going to help me. Cool. These are cool big ledger papers. Ooh, and some blank ones. I don't have big ones, long ones like this. Cool, very cool. Thank you. And look at these big ass ones. It's just like one that's folded over. Oh, like that. It's connected. Those are cool. Ooh, pretty pinky paper. Ooh, pretty. What did you do on that? It feels. Interesting. Hmm. Ooh, that feels weird. What did you do on this one? That is weird. Hmm. It feels weird. Is it, a, is it a jelly print? I don't think it's a jelly print, is it? It looks too, like, irregular. That's weird. I like that. I like it. Yeah, I like crunchies. I like crunchy paper too. Ooh, this one's pretty purple and pink. Very pretty. That's cool. That looks almost like a mixed media mashup. It's got washi tape on it and stuff. Oh, it was a gel print? Is your jelly plate like odd shaped? Or is that just how the paint was on it? Oh, maybe you, it was a big jelly plate and you only rolled out the paint in like an area cool looking I like that that's a cool jelly print right there it doesn't even it's not it doesn't look as good on camera as it does in person but I like that one and then we've got these are like those papers that were down on the bottom there oops this one got folded these are pretty oh, see on camera they don't look as nice as they do in person in person they're really pretty they look almost tie-dyed in a way. Or they have the different colors on them. Pretty blue. Dyed blue. Paper. Ooh, purple or lavender. Did you do something with these? Like um, like an avocado skin or something? Don't they make things purple or does that make it pink? I don't remember. Ooh, book page. Hmm. Cute. Oh, this is alcohol ink on here? Oh, okay. What'd you do? Spray it with alcohol? Oh, this is the one you were talking about takes alcohol ink. Oh, how'd you do that then? Did you spray it on or did you like, like, how'd you do that with alcohol ink? I thought you were talking about those other papers. Hmm. You'll have to 
tell me how you did that because that's really pretty. I pour is and folded it. You pour? Hmm. Cool lavendery papers. That one looks cool. It has all these little like spots on it, like little dendritic spots almost. I love pretty papers. feel like, well they, they each feel different. This one feels like almost like a vellum paper, but I don't think it's vellum, I'm not sure, but this one feels like a, I don't know what, it feels a different. This feels like watercolor paper, that's cool looking. And here's another one of those other ones. Pour ink on paper and fold it. Oh, did you dilute the ink down with alcohol or something so that it would be lighter? And maybe like squirt it on and fold the paper. But this is like a painty paper. That one's pretty. It has like lots of like textury little lines in it and stuff. Really pretty. And there's that one that looks like you sponged off or something. I do that on papers too. Ooh, I like that one too. That's pretty. I love when you can feel the different paint and stuff on them. I like it. Ooh, that one's cool. That one has embossing powder, it looks like, on it. That looks cool, though. I like the way that came out. That's cool. That one's pretty. Yeah, you can feel the different stuff. Hi, Lilia. How are you? Is that how you say your name? Oh no, this is vellum for sure. Or um, either Yupo or vellum. Yupo maybe. I think it's Yupo because it looks like you did alcohol ink on this or something. Yeah, that looks like Yupo. It sounds like Yupo. Love it. <laughs> yeah, this is Yupo for sure. That's cool. I love Yupo. Yupo is fun and like blowing the ink around and all that is really fun. You get some really cool and interesting things when you play with Yupo. I I have Yupo paper, but I hoard the hell out of it because I'm so afraid of using it all up because it's expensive. You know, it's not cheap. That's cool too. I like the color of that. I like the orange with the pink. Ooh, this one's pretty too. I like that. That's cool. Ooh, I like that one too. Look at that turtle. Another turtle. That is really pretty. Watercolor paper. Ooh, another Yupo. The only thing with Yupo I find is if you use alcohol like on it, you could scratch it easily. Because I have one that I did. I actually just moved it earlier when I was cleaning up. And it's it, it got a couple little scratches on it. I'm so annoyed with because it was so pretty. And I didn't think it was going to get scratched on it. I guess I have to seal it or something. Ooh, that's pretty. That's glittery as heck. See how glittery that is? It's all like little glitters. That's really pretty. Ooh, what's this? Ooh, I like these. These are nice heavy folders. Oh, I like these a lot. I've seen these before, but I don't think I have anything like that. The nice heavy ones like this. These are like the real like thick heavy ones. These will make great journal covers if you, you know, cut them out or whatever, or just use them as folders if you need good folders to hold stuff. Ooh, that's cute. Oh, on this side, it's a little darker color is. That's cute. I like that. Is that a stamp? It looks like a stamp. It's cute. I like how it has the numbers. Cute. I like other people's papers all the time. Like Janie, when we had the auction, if you weren't there, we just did an, I just did an auction on Sunday and the she gave me a whole bunch of painty papers to put in the auction and they were amazing. Not painty papers, uh, dyed papers. And they were amazing. She worked her butt off on those. That's really pretty. Ooh, 
that's pretty. I like that too. But they are brown. You have some, but they are brown. What? What do you have that's brown? Ooh, this one's cool. It's interesting. What'd you put on there? Is that embossing powder? All right, what'd you put on this? I'm assuming it's embossing powder or something, or, or did you brush something on, or some sort of glue or something, because that looks cool. It doesn't show up on camera how cool it looks, but it really does look cool. Ooh, this one's cute. I like that. What kind of paper is that? Maybe it's a piece of cardstock that was all crinkled up so that it would get like softer or something. Because I could tell it was kind of crinkled up. I don't know. Cool. <gasps> Very pretty. See, I love cutting these kind of papers up and making them into eight, eight, the, like the, what do you call it? The background for an ATC or something. That's fun. Ooh, another UFO. Ooh, that one's really pretty. It's got like this cool pale pink thing going on. Hi, Laura and Rebecca. And anybody else that's come in? Did I miss anybody? Ooh, that's pretty too. You love Hanes papers? What are Hanes papers? What are Hanes papers? Never heard of that. That one is plastic. Which one's pl wait a minute. Which one's plastic? Back here? Which one? This one's plastic? Or... Let's see. That's why. I should pay attention when I ask a damn question. But my ADD then turns me around. Is this is plastic or is it Yupo? Well, Yupo is plastic, basically. I mean, that's what it is, the plastic paper. But this might be different. Oh, I'll figure it out or I'll pick your brain later. This is a pink piece of cardstock, I think. I like that on there. What is that? Looks like paint from a jelly plate. Or is that oxiding? No, not oxide, but maybe some pigment ink or something. I don't know. I can't tell, but it looks, it feels like it's got like a pigment ink of some sort. Ooh. This must be a printed piece that you dyed. Printed out a graphic on it and dyed it or something. This is another watercolor feeling paper. I love that one. That that would make a good journal cover cut in half and then put, you know, put rings in it because I love the colors of it. And the colors don't come up very vibrant on camera, but they're very like, there's like teal in here. It's very pretty. You can see the teal here, but it, it's lighter on here. It's, I don't think it's the same teal, but it's, this side is my favorite, I think. That's really cool. Ooh, this one too. I like that. That looks like you did the saran wrap thing on that one, kind of. Whoops. My chat stopped. Whoa. Fling, flinging things around. Thanks, Laura. I'm going to be making more of those. I just need to gather together more painting papers. I'm going to, you know, those weren't, the, the ones I put in those journals, those were ones I got from the creative reuse, but I have tons of painting papers. It's just, I need to sit down and do some paint. I love both of these are cool. I need to put together some painting papers that, you know, are all the same size. Cause I have a bunch of painting papers, but I don't think I can make very, I can make journals out of them, but it would be like, weird size because I'd have to because some of them aren't like the right size. Ooh, that's really pretty. Love that. Hi Kathy. That's cool. Love that. Ooh, and that too. Look at that. That is so cool. What did you do to this one. I'll wait for you to answer before I move on. What did you do to those two? What's that? Hi, Jude.
<clears throat> my tooth is more swollen. Um, it's weird because the swelling is like hard as a rock. And I was doing some research and it was like talking about how usually that kind of swelling when coming, when, it, when it's an abscess and it's really hard as a rock and it's all like on the jawline of the gums, it usually needs, requires surgery to get it all, to get it out. And that's probably why the antibiotics is not, not helping. So things are going to be up in the air because I run out of my antibiotics tomorrow, which means things can either, you know, after I run out of the antibiotics, things are either going to stay the same or get worse. And if it gets worse, I might not be able to manage the pain. Um, so I have to quickly find an answer because I'm going to have to make an appointment to the oral surgeon and have this taken care of because I don't think I'll be able to put it off until any later than like Monday of next week. If my antibiotics run out like tomorrow, I'll probably be okay Thursday, Friday, Saturday, maybe Sunday, but Monday by Monday or Tuesday, I, I, I'm not going to really have a choice because it can get dangerous. You know what I mean? I can get really sick. So I made enough money from my auction to pay the mortgage because they called me this morning and I'm like, wait, I have just enough. I will pay it. <laughs> so, but yeah, so I'm gonna have to figure that stuff out. Plastic paper plate holder cut up in pattern. This one is, oh, plastic or paper plate holder. Wait, huh? plastic paper plate holder. You're going to have to send me a picture because I don't, I'm trying to figure out what that is. Plastic paper plate holder. Oh, I know what you mean. Kind of like one of those, like they used to sell them where they were like made out of like uh, wicker or whatever. And you would put the paper plates in them and they have the plastic ones. Yeah. Yeah. They'll hold your paper plates. Yep. Um, but I'm trying to figure out how this pattern happened. So you inked it up or something and it had like a weird pattern on it. Oh, and what do you use for the, use, is this paint, I would imagine? Yeah, it feels like, I guess, paint. Huh. You'll have to take a picture of that thing you're talking about and send me a picture of this paper plate holder that's plastic so I can get an idea. Because that's really cool looking. I like that. Ooh. Gin rummy. <laughs> I think I have some, they're not, they don't look exactly like this. Oh, I think they're bridge, actually. They're bridge um, scorecards or something. I think they're in my closet somewhere. I got them recently, and I'm like, oh, I want to dye some of those. <gasps> Ooh, this is colorful and pretty. Ooh, I like both of those. And then we got some envelopes. Oh, this is a nice open one. I can see the coffee grind still in here. <laughs> so these will be good for, like, finishing my uh, my current journal that I'm doing. That uh, the one with the ledger book thing because I'm pretty much almost done with it, but I'm gonna do a few other things. I might add a few more pages to it because I might as well make it a thicky. These are cool. These look like large index cards, the blank ones or something. These feel like another kind of watercolor paper ish. Those are cool. This big ledger paper. Very pretty. Ooh, this one's. I like the. I like when you get these like weird dark colors and stuff on them. Ooh, that's cool too. I like that. Very cool. Like it. Like it. Like it. Ooh, some nice light ones. Very pretty. With some blue. Pretty. And then what is this? What is that? Oh, that's cool. Did you take a piece of paper or something that had a lot of ink on it and drop it on there? This feels like jelly paper to me. But that's really cool how it's got those little crinkles in it. Ooh, look, ATCs. Ooh, painty paper ATCs. Today, I think that says. Ooh, that's cool. These would be great for me to add, like, add it, like something to them and then, you know, because they're like good bases. Very cool. I like those. And then, ooh, leaves. This looks like maybe a foam stamp or something. Ooh, these would be good for Halloween. Like a Halloween journal, which I plan on making, hopefully. As long as I can get things. Because now that I have to deal with this tooth and I can't, I'm like kind of at a standstill with my basement. So 
I haven't been able to clean out the room up here, my office up here to put things downstairs to move stuff away from the closet in there to get to my Halloween stuff. So I don't know when I'll be able to get to my Halloween stuff, but I am hoping that that will happen. I don't know when, because if I have to have oral surgery, it's probably going to be a week before I feel, or at least three or four days before I feel better from that. Like if you would place over a fruit and push down and it would cut it. Hi, Mary Jane. Or tomato or orange. Let me put these back in here. I don't mean to show your address, but I don't think you can really read it. It's in script, so it doesn't really show up very well. I meant to turn it over, but I don't think anybody's going to come to your house. <laughs> All right. So I have these things, these rolls, and I'm going to have them. In, I meant to have them in the auction I just had, but... I totally forgot about them and they were in my kitchen. I don't know why I put them in the kitchen, but they were on the floor stacked up in my kitchen. And this one, the, you know, the outside sheet has got a couple like smudge spots on it, but they're big um, sticker rolls, basically. They're they're sticky paper um, and it's like a paper, but I think these would be fantastic for the jelly plate and they're, you know, so you could die cut them. It's not like so sticky. I mean, it'll obviously stick to you know, paper and stuff and not come up, but it's not, it's not quite as sticky as like double-sided tape, but it's pretty sticky. It's definitely like not a washi tape sticky. It's definitely like a normal sticky. Um, but it's not like, it's not like ridiculous sticky, you know, like so sticky that it's crazy, but I love this because it feels like, is this paper or is this like a really thin vinyl? Wait a minute. Hold up a second. Because when I just... That's... Oh, that would be really interesting if that was like a vinyl or something. Oh, I hope it is. Let me see. Let me rip. Oh, it is. Oh, that's exciting. Oh, it's like a really thin vinyl. I knew when I lifted it up and then I went to put it back down, I was like, huh, that don't feel like paper. That's even better. Ooh, that's fun. Oh, that's cool. Oh, I love these. Oh, now I don't want to put any of them in the box. I want them all. I'm just kidding. Um, oh, this is going to be fun. So these, because you can like cut off as big as you want. You can die cut them. I'm almost positive, obviously, because it's nice and thin. Um, oh, but these are going to be fun to play with. But I'll have them in the auction. And I'm going to play with some today. Because you could jelly plate on these, but they won't. You know, they're not going to rip and they're going to be like, I don't know. These are so cool. The first outside layer has a little smudges on it. But if you're jelly pl printing it or spraying it, it's going to cover it up anyway. Yeah, you can, I'm, I'm sure you can put it through a printer. I mean, if, you know, I'm, I'm almost positive you can. Um... I'm sure that's what it was for at some point was for some sort of printing for something, but yeah, this is cool. I'm definitely, I think is, this is going to be fun to use. Um, I do have to check that before I do that, I have these, use my scrap paper. I have like, I like using my homemade sprays that are permanent on stuff like this. So the problem is I have some here that I can't remember if they're the permanent ones or if they're the water soluble ones that I made, like the oxide ones. So actually I might be able to tell by the smell of them. Let me see. Let me smell one of the ones I know is. That'll make it a lot easier on me. Yeah, I think I'll be able to tell. All right, that'll be easier. I don't I think this is one of the oxide ones then. Because if I could figure that out. Mm, that one, I gotta remember what it smells like. Wait. Yeah, that's gotta be one of the permanent ones, I'm pretty sure. I still will spray it if I think it's one of the permanent ones because I gotta keep them separated because I didn't mark the bottles. So I'm gonna put like a P for permanent on them or something so that I don't forget. 
Yeah, either inkjet, probably laser too, maybe. I don't know. But yeah, probably definitely inkjet. Because it's not like super smooth, which is why it didn't, it didn't like, like, uh, tip me off that it was vinyl because it wasn't like super smooth. So it has to have some sort of, um, grip to it in order to go into an inkjet printer. So hopefully these spray, but I have other spray bottles I can put them into if they are giving me issues, which this one probably is. So I might have to adjust a few of my bottles, but you've had these, Jude, these papers, the, I mean, the rolls of these before. Let's see. It must be, okay. Okay. I'll be able to tell by, let that dry a little bit. And then let's see, it's kind of an unknown. Let's see. This again it smells like that one, but because I want to use the the ones that are not water soluble, because I like the way they come out better. They were my accidental discovery um, uh, sprays when I was trying to make my make some more colors of my oxide sprays. Because um, if you are new to my channel in any way, I made oxide, you know, the Tim Holtz oxide ink sprays. Um, I'm, you can make those and they're exactly the same and you can make them in any color you want. And I have a video on that showing you how to do it. Um, and the supplies you can get pretty easily without an issue and you can make whatever colors you want and it's really cool. All right, so let that sit there. I know this one is definitely not. I have the green one in here, I believe. Yeah. So, and I had some that were doubles that I had set aside because I had extra when I mixed it up and I poured them into the bottles. Try your nail varnish. What do you mean nail varnish? You mean nail polish? Hi, Shelly. Heat set it so it's, if I heat set it, the vinyl's gonna melt. Probably. This one might be an oxide, but I'm gonna test it anyway. That one sprays weird. So that's another thing. Be careful if you heat set that stuff. If you know if you end up getting one at the auction next this actually I'm doing it. Hopefully I'm going to be able to do an auction on Sunday because I may have to do it on Saturday or even Friday because if my tooth is going to start hurting, that may cause a problem. But in order for me to go to the dentist and pay for the stupid surgery, I'm going to have to do an auction. So if I think that I'm going to have an issue, I may have to do it Friday or Saturday. So I hope that's not going to interfere with somebody else's thing, but I don't really have a choice. Because I got to make sure I get this taken care of because it can go up into my damn brain. Hey, it might improve my brain. Um, where'd the cap go? You saw me take the cap off, right? What the hell? Why does this happen to me? I lose the caps for everything. I did have an extra cap somewhere, so maybe that cap was off of it. Somebody scroll back in the video and tell me if I took the cap off of that. Because <clears throat> it's nowhere to be found over here. Because if I did, I have an extra cap, and it might be for that one. Yeah, I have these little, and you can get them online, too. But they are little BB things that are meant for mixing. I have them in different sizes. I have big ones, and I have little ones for my mini misters. Um, that I sell on my exhibit store, which I think I still, yeah, I still have those listed. I think the little mini misters and they, and they each come with a ball so that in case you use something that needs to be mixed in them, whoops, there's that cap. That's just went flying off. Get back here, fool. I hope I remember which one is which. 
that's that one that's that one that's that one that's that one this one I never used it doesn't even look like it's been used I must have transferred this out of the other bottle oh yeah Ooh, that's a leaker she leaky why are you leaky hmm what you leaking for maybe because I shook the hell out of it let me dip that in some water Oh, an ad came up. It's so weird that it does that kind of like randomly. Sometimes it'll do it. Sometimes it won't do it at all. It's very bizarre. But. But the ads do give me literally 12 cents by the, you know, a month. <laughs> Maybe. Like, I don't know. Actually, they only give you pennies. But. I mean, the YouTube, the YouTube thing where people, you know, get money from YouTube, that's such a joke anymore. You don't get nothing. All right, why are you still acting very leaky? I'm extremely perplexed. I may have to switch this bottle again, but right now I'm just trying to get it on the thing without it making a mess. I don't know why it's doing that. Now, look at that. By the end of the night, my hands are going to be so disgusting. It's not even going to be funny. Especially when I start, like, really doing it. Doing it. Here's another purple. This one I'll put over here. I don't know which one is which, so I'm going to spray them. I'll know once they're dry because mine don't move once they're dry they'll move while they're wet obviously but they won't move once they're dry so we're gonna dry them real quick that's pretty much all dry and I'll spray some water and then I'll be able to tell which ones are which I think that's an oxide and that's the light blue one you can tell That's one of mine, I think. I can tell by the way it's drying. Hi, Barbara. Um, I sold them in my shop, but I can get more if anybody's interested. And the ones I get work really well for these type of sprays that have like you know, yeah, I mean, over time, you know, you might have one or two that clog, depending on what you're putting. But I put, like, tons of pigment in these, like the powder pigment. So it's, like, quite thick, and they, and they work really well. Um, but every now and again, you know, over time, if I don't clean them properly when I'm done, uh, they could have a problem. But then you just take this part, and you take it apart, and put it into, like, hot water and let it soak, and it'll all work itself out. I just haven't done it because I'm lazy. You don't have to do that every time you use them. As long as you clean the nozzle with baby wipe, just wipe it, it should be okay. But I like the way mine spray better than Tim Holtz's bottles that come with his sprays. Because most of mine spray well. His clog a lot easier. But I can get more of those bottles pretty quickly, so... It doesn't take long to get those shipped, maybe less than a week or maybe a week. Did I make my own what up? I You mean inks? I mean the sprays? Um, yeah, I've made the oxides. I made a perfect dupe for the oxides. They work exactly the same. They look the same. But I made all different colors that were my own. That's not these. These were supposed to be that because like one of the things I put in the oxides that I make, the oxide sprays that I make, homemade ones, it's basically the same formula of his because his has pigment ink and then obviously the dye ink, which in my case you can use, I use anything from like these. The Distress Stains are great for that. The watercolor, the, the big bottles of the watercolor, liquid watercolor that you get, the sergeant art ones you can get on uh on amazon 
uh, those. I use those um, to make my colors, you know, like I mix things together and I'll use some printer ink. But with the printer ink, if you want to make oxide sprays, the printer ink when it dries is more permanent. So you want the oxide sprays to be like a watercolor so that it's water reactive. That's the whole point of the oxide sprays, obviously. So I only use very little printer ink and I add, I always add, um, uh, my brain just drew a blank. Um, the stuff you use to make watercolors. Um, my brain just went, and I have it here too on my thing. Um, uh, you guys know some one of you gum Arabic. Thank you. My brain just totally drew a blank. So I pour liquid gum Arabic in it to make sure it stays nice and water soluble. Um, but see the printer ink and gum Arabic, um, gum, no matter how much gum Arabic you put in, if there's too much printer ink, it'll not be because the gum Arabic doesn't work as good with the printer ink because there's something in printer ink that's meant to be permanent to try not to smudge it. So you, that's why I only use a little bit of printer ink. I mostly use water soluble inks like the distress stains and you can use food coloring even I think would work fine. I think I've used food coloring a couple of drops in some of them, I think. But mostly any kind of liquid dye ink works. And you put gum arabic and I have a video on it. Just look up DIY oxide sprays and on my channel. Um and you add you can even add a little bit of paint to it. Very little, I think. Mostly the big thing is the the big thing that makes the oxide inks, you know, give you that oxidation is the pigment, powder pigment, white powder pigment. You can use color powder pigment, but white will be universal. You know, like you can use it with any color. It'll do the same thing. So you use the white um, powder and you put that in with the dye ink and that gives you the dye and the pigment mix. So it's a, it's an absolute dupe and it works perfect. You can't even tell the difference between his and mine when you spray them at all. Um, except obviously my colors are different. So I, you know, some of his, col his colors are great, but there are colors I wanted that he didn't have. So I, I wanted to make my own. Um, and they, they're great. But anyway, I was making more and it was during a live stream. I was like, I want to make more colors of my oxide inks. So I was sitting there. No, it wasn't during a live stream. Actually, it was, it was not during a live stream when I was doing it. I was just sitting here kind of making some up and I was, I had this, which is, um, liquid, you know, like a really liquidy, um, uh, varnish or gloss sealer. And I had it on my desk and the bottle of gum Arabic that I was using, it was a little bit smaller, but it was kind of similar looking. And I wasn't thinking, because this is obviously, if you put varnish in it, it's going to make it permanent. It's not going to be water soluble anymore. So I had the gum Arabic and it was sitting kind of like back here. And I was like my brain, I was, I had a video on, I was paying attention to the video I was watching, just making up the things. And I kept like for two or at least two or three of them, I grabbed the liquid varnish instead of the gum Arabic and didn't pay attention. And then all of a sudden I sprayed it and I'm, and I sprayed water on it. And I'm like, why isn't it moving? I don't understand. And I'm like, what the hell did I do? I don't understand. Couldn't figure it out for a few minutes. And then I realized that it was sitting here and I'm like, oh crap, I put this in. And I was like, oh, well, well, I'll just use these as, you know, you know, a cup. I had like three, maybe three, maybe four of them made up but by the time I realized it. But what was cool was I started playing with them and realizing that I actually like these better than the oxide sprays because the permanence of them, you could do the same type of layering that you could do with the oxide inks. Um, you just treat it a little different, but it makes the coolest papers. Like I'm telling you, it makes the coolest freaking papers and it, and, and, and you don't have that haze like you get with the oxide inks, which is fine because we like the oxide, but you get more vibrant colors and then you still get that cool layering. I'll show you what I mean because I'm going to do that, but it's so cool looking. It's so different. All right, let's see which ones are water reactive. I already know. All right, that one is a little bit, so that's probably one of, yeah, that's definitely... That's not, I could tell by the way the water beads up on it because the, the ones with the stuff in it, like that's definitely an oxide one. Um, that's not, that's not, that's not. 
this one is the two pinks are and this blue okay so all the rest of these i didn't spray this one did i no but i think that's for sure one of the oxide ones i'll know how it sprays kind of how it starts to i'll feel it yeah that's not going to dry permanent but i'll even keep that and let it dry and then add stuff to it or something to keep everything that's painty um i'm pretty sure that's an oxide i didn't realize so many of them were my permanent ones I was wrong it's one of these oops I told it wasn't okay so anyway I really enjoy playing with those let me find a cap this is probably it's cap to begin with all right so those are not the right those are the oxides these are all my permanent ones so I'm going to put a P on them now because I'll forget if I don't do it right now we all know I'm an idiot so maybe this one will work. There we go. P for permanent. P. P P. Pink poodle pack. It might wear off after a while, but that's okay. As long as I can see it for a while, and then I've got all my other colors in here. In this box. And see, this box only holds a certain amount of colors, which is why I ended up with ones that were not in the box. And these, the outside of my bottles get so disgusting <laughs> because you can't wipe them off like the oxide because it's permanent. So you get like some cool colored bottles anyway. But yeah, they've become my favorite sprays. I wish I could manufacture these and sell them, but, but I show you how to make them. So I, I did show, do a video on showing how to make them too. So, because these are, I think these are the coolest mixed media sprays you can, you could make or have or use honestly than anybody else's. Because there are other very, I don't, I don't even know, but any other permanent sprays are always like, they're thin and they're very, very, uh, what is it? Um, uh, translucent. They're more of a translucent, more of an ink. Whereas these have more of a thickness to them and they sit on top and they just make the coolest layers. Hi, Debbie. Did I miss anybody else? Hi, note spin spinner. Oh, thanks, Jude. She said I have the best Mod Podge texture paste and gesso homemade videos. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, you were checking for my cap? It didn't have a cap? Oh, no cap. Okay. that's. I had a feeling there was no cap to it. Thanks, Jeannie. But of course, I still like the oxide sprays for, you know, their purpose, but I absolutely love the way these look. I get some really cool, and there's a good white ink. Oh, this one might, I might have to use black on that one. I just can't see it. It's a silver kind of marker, but all right. We get the black one, which is around here somewhere. I may have taken that one downstairs. Let me get one from over here. Got a whole pile of Sharpie markers. There. This one will work. That one. Okay. They are marked with their scarlet letter. Okay, so now I just got to get them all mixed and then we can play. Them made of marker, huh? What do you mean? But I like to experiment and I'm always finding 
as much as I can for, you know, dupes for various things. I've found several for different Tim Holtz items, like the, um, the, what's it called? The, the stuff. Dang it. I don't remember. My mind is just drawing blanks all over the place today. Welcome to my head. The, the, ah, the, the glaze. What the hell is it called? Distress something glaze. That. Micro glaze. Thank you. The glaze and then the resist. That resist spray that he has where it kind of like you spray it and you let it dry and then you can, it, it acts as a resist. I made that too. I made both of those things without ever having the original. I just listened to what he said about it and kind of figured it out based off of that. But I have videos on both of those. Hi, Denise. I haven't seen you in a while. Hi, Shazzy. If I bang it against my tooth, it would help it. I'll have to mix them up again before I use them, but I won't have to mix them up as much after that. I just got to get the ball loose at the bottom and then, then it starts because it gets like wedged into the, that's all pigment ink on the bottom. Sometimes I put one in, sometimes I'll put two of those beads in, depending on. I think there might be one in each of these, I'm not sure, but it was kind of a bigger one, I think, so I didn't need to. Were these no, these weren't made with markers. No, these were made with No, I don't I don't I don't make things with markers because for me that like you're talking about alcohol stuff, like alcohol ink. To me, alcohol ink using the markers is like kind of expensive and, and there's easier ways to do it that are cheaper I feel but no I, I these are like a permanent oxide spray sort of um, they were like an accident that I discovered when I was making oxide sprays I happened upon these and I love them and they're not like any other sprays you could find on the market either because I haven't been able to find anything that worked like these on the market. This is, I think, the only metallic I have. Is this one these or is this a... Yeah, I think it is. Is this the one I did that I... I there's one of them that I did I didn't like the way or it didn't come out right or something. I'm wondering if this is it. I had trouble trying to make and I wonder if this one's the one and I know it's a metallic and I think it was the metallic that I played with I don't know I have boobs bobs hmm. let me see I don't remember let that dry and I'll know that might have ended up in there and it wasn't meant to Let me get my finger over here. So I'm using, if you just came in, these are sheets of really thin vinyl that are sticky on the back. I will have rolls of these in my next auction. Not much in that one. I'm wondering if this is the same thing. I to, you won't really know till I mix it because it always looks different. And it's just this was the leftover. No, it's different. It's a different shade. Hmm. I think I. It's like a light. Is this? I don't know. I have no freaking idea what I did. 
maybe I was trying to make more and I ended up with this color because I don't really have formulas like I just kind of make up colors and I'm like okay that works like I don't care I'm not gonna go oh I have to have the exact formula so the next time I make it it looks exactly like this I don't really care I'll just make another color that's similar and you know I'm not really picky about it so that's why when people say well how'd you make that exact color it's like well I just kind of made it and it was fine and I'll <laughs> you know like I don't because I use so many different things. I don't use anything like specific. I'll use like, like I was saying, the distress stains and those watercolor, the liquid watercolors. And I'll use whatever I have on hand pretty much to do it. So I just make whatever. And this is my black one. And you can like make these with 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 um, uh, mica powders. Add mica powders to it to make them shimmery. You know, so and because they're permanent while they're wet, which is would be hard to do in, if you're gonna use them the way I'm using them. Um, and I'll show you what I mean. But while they're wet, you can like sprinkle some glitter on it, and it would stick because they're permanent. They have a varnish in them. Come on, dislodge. I'm gonna have to bang this one on the table. Sometimes, it, sometimes the ball gets so stuck on the bottom that it has trouble coming loose. That's, that one's loose. That one's already loose. This one's being stubborn as hell. Oh, I hear it. Hi, Monica. Uh, 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 uh. What about this one? Did I already do this one? No. There it goes. Alright. I haven't used them in a while, so they haven't been shaken in a long time. And I might have some issues with a few of the sprayers. So I might want to just do a test and make sure they all spray. So that I don't pick up a color and be like, oh no, it's not spraying. Because you kind of got to work, not fast, but um, that's fine. As long as it sprays, it's fine. Sometimes, because it's so thick, sometimes they spray in a stream. Sometimes they spray outward. I think I sprayed this one earlier. This is that real juicy one. Juicy. It's juicy. you spray you're splattering on my vinyl that's okay I'm gonna cover it so much you're not gonna be able to see anything on it okay make sure the black one okay and this kind of limey green color sure get real dirty the bottles get real dirty all right that one's spraying weird so it's like spraying in like a ricochet so I'll take that top off and let it soak wipe this off and that usually takes care of that so give that a minute that's why I like to give them a test spray real quick if I especially if I haven't used them in like forever which I haven't used these in forever it's been months Come on, dude. There we go. Okay. But that's what you want to do when you're done with them. You want to make sure you wipe this off. And if there's a lot of drippage around here, pull that out and wipe it too when you're done with them. And then they won't, mostly they won't clog on you because I haven't used these in months and the only one that's been really an issue is that one so far. Yeah, that's fine. And I just wipe the just wipe the nozzle off so that there's nothing sitting there.
because these caps go on nice and tight so they they stay on and keep it kind of airtight and as long as the nozzle's airtight nothing will dry in it really okay we're all good let's check on this sucker get this one to work i got warm water in my water bucket because i just filled it and i usually put warm water in it Let's see if we have an issue. I might clean some of that. I stick a baby wipe in my little pokey tool and clean that little ring in there. Just make sure that's not... Oh, that just squirted right in my eye. Thank you. It squirted up on me. Nice. That's okay. Give me nice colored eyes. Get, get down on there, dude. Oh, it sprayed once. What's the matter here, dude? Are you having a problem today? There we go. Oh, it sprayed out the little doodad. I guess I didn't let it soak. There's like a little doodad inside of there. So now it'll like clump out. <laughs> but that's, if this ever happens, obviously you could put it back in. But if it ever happens and you can't find it or it gets lost, um, it'll, it makes cool, like, if you want like, like really drippies, you can kind of leave that. You can put another nozzle on if you have extra nozzles and then leave this one for like if you want to do like drippy type of stuff. It was just this that needed to be more soaked. So I'm going to take that, soak that in there like that for a minute. All right. So I'll start with the other ones for now and let that soak a while because it's that little thing that gets clogged that shot out because it was too much pressure built up because it wasn't letting any of the ink or paint or whatever the hell through. Alrighty. Okay, now we grab our vinyl. And so what I like to do with these is I'll get like a base color down on the bottom. So I'll just spray it and kind of, I start usually lightest to darkest um, with my colors, but you can do obviously whatever you want. But you can layer this stuff like as much as you want until you get it the way you want it. So like I'll put a ton of color. I'll do like two different colors. I put a ton on. And then I'll do like this orange one and I'll do this one. Get a good base of colors and then I kind of let it let it flow around so that it pretty much covers the whole sheet. You know, it doesn't have to color cover every little speck, but you can if you want. Just go like this and get it to cover so that you have a good base color on there. There you go. Just with your finger. Okay, so leave that there. Clean up this mess because it will dry. Obviously, it'll come up, but it's easier to get it up if you use. It, do it when you have I usually actually let me stick a piece of paper under here let me grab a big piece of paper Whenever I get any of these in like my boxes of stuff, if I do get any of these, or certain stores will wrap like something, then I can do that. And anything I spray pretty much makes a pretty background paper when all is said and done. Now this is, since it's vinyl, if I use the heat gun, which I'm going to do, I'm just going to be careful not to melt it. <laughs> just going to keep it moving. Hi, Sandra.
There's a lot of ink on here, so the, it'll take a bit to dry on the first one, especially. Are you leaving, Barbara? I think she was just talking to that other person. I guess they didn't want to be here. drying. I'm going to check on this little doodad in here and see if, oops, I don't need to get it silky wet. Let me dump it out. See if it's done being a pain in the butt. And I can take a pin and kind of scrape out any of the, I can stick it through the hole and get out any dried paint. You can usually rescue your bottles there's the piece the clump that was causing the problem right there on my finger that's pretty much it i believe see like i got the pin all the way through the hole so it should be fine okay so now i can take this and I'm going to take a little bit of water and I'm just going to squirt that out a little. Make sure it's clean. Stick this back in. And now, hopefully it doesn't fly back out and then end up being too loose or something. I've had that happen once or twice, but typically it'll be okay. Yeah. It still sprays like a stream, but... Hey, as long as it gets the color on there, I don't really care too much. I don't have to spray perfect. It seems to be okay, though. I think it's supposed to be in further. I might have to, like, tap it. Ah, there we go. Now it's in. Give it a little tappity tap. Oh, now it's spraying perfectly normal. That's why. It just wasn't tapped. Okay. You dry it. The first layer always takes forever. Plus, it's because it's on vinyl... It's gonna not soak into the paper at all. It'll dry, it'll dry faster as I put subsequent layers on it. You probably use alcohol ink on this too, I just realized. Ooh, I need to try that too. Can you imagine having alcohol ink stickers? <laughs> Sticker paper? That would be cool. A big clump right here. The paint. Taking forever to dry. <laughs> and it might actually be cool. Let me see if it'll melt the corner here. Yeah, like it's melting a little bit. Yeah. So it does melt. But it took a little, a few seconds for it to really do that. Okay, let me get Pretty dry. These edges down here, just clumps of paint on them. Can put our other layers on this is where it comes in handy to have some sort of a towel paint rag like this you're gonna need um, because when you're doing your other layers 
you're going to be blotting up things. Oh, Night Debbie. What are you going to be calling her, Barbara? Well, I hope you're, I hope you feel better. Okay, so let's grab some of the green that I just did. And some of the tea, this like turquoisey color. And I'm gonna do a cut like small sections at a time because it's a little easier to kind of control it. So I'm gonna spray like that. And then I'm gonna use a little of this color. Kind of cool how that beads up a little bit. I'm hoping that is not oxide and I'm just thinking it's the other stuff. And now you also use a water bottle too, but I'm going to kind of let it, I don't let it drip too far. I'm just kind of letting it drip in its own little vicinity here. And because I don't want it all to cross the whole thing because I need to, I want to keep kind of some control over what I'm doing. So I don't get any major blobs. So then what I do is I start drying it and right before it's like fully dry, I take the water and I spray it. It's kind of, it's kind of like doing the oxide inks, but a little bit different. So I spray it once it starts like where it's not moving too much and it's starting to like really dry. I'll spray it and hopefully it'll work the same on this type of paper stuff as it does Sometimes you gotta look at it from the side to see where it's like really drying. And before it's fully dry, where it's just like half dry, or you take some water and you spray it like that. And then you can dry it a little, little more. And what you'll see is, you'll see like the oxidation. I don't know if you can see it, but I can see it. You see like the oxidation happening in some of that you can see the see the white floating some of that oxidation in there and then you can you can take a piece of paper if you wanted to blot it I don't, know, I don't think I've ever tried that to take like a paper and blot it up usually I use a rag but what is this? This is like, I don't know but that you might be able to do for some cool effects this might have been still too, a little too wet oh no it was okay yeah, that's kind of, you can get some cool painting papers with that, I'm sure, if you did that. It doesn't matter there. But see, what you want is what's happening. Just don't blot it with a wet piece of paper. Just make sure you're using different parts of the paper. What you end up with is a really cool looking kind of, see that like weird splotches? And then you could take your rag and kind of get any of the... Uh, the most wet spots off of it so that it looks nice and cl like clear and you can see it and then in the interim I have this paper <laughs> started and I'll let that dry and then the next one I'll do I'll do on a new sheet and I'll just switch back and forth while they're drying because it's you can't put it you can't put down wet paper on it because do I have another piece of cardstock or is it just copy paper? That's okay. I can use copy paper on the next one. Um, but you can use a towel too if you don't want to use paper. Um, so that's what you're going for. So that you can see through it with the other colors underneath. And it gets cooler and cooler as you go. So now I'll work like on this side and do like different colors. You could do the same colors to spread it all the way or you can then start doing different colors. And I like to just jump into a different color and I can even go back to the other colors later too, because a lot of times the, the lighter colors will show up on the darker colors that are already dry. Um, so like here's a darker teal, that one that somebody in the chat said they liked, this one. Darker teal, and let's say uh, a purple. Actually the purple's a little dark, let's go with the lavender. And like something you you wouldn't really do, well, you can do it, but like I'm putting it over top of orange. Now, if I did this with oxide inks, 
the purple might pick up some of that orange color and make a slightly because obviously they're water soluble so it may, might make a little funkiness whereas these won't do that because this is dry you know and it's permanent so it's not going to come up i could spray this with water and like you know nothing's going to happen because it's you know not water soluble no, it's dry um so you don't have that to worry about So I'll do basically the same thing this time I'll and I kind of soak it and now I'm making splatters. If you don't want your things to splatter, you can kind of clean it up a little bit. Like my sprays have a tendency to splatter or use a piece of paper to block it off. If you don't want like splatters everywhere while you're doing it like that, you know, you can kind of help it a little bit. So that'll be my. And I just let them mix in this vicinity, kind of. Let them kind of converge, converge together. And drip off a little bit. Not completely, but a little bit. And then we do the whole drying process. Where'd this come from? Nope, this one came from that one, which I didn't cap back on. You want to keep the caps on them as much as possible. Now I'll do that whole drying thing and I'll take my paper and you dry it until it's just about dry. Not quite. Another thing you could do if you're noticing that there's these little like cells popping up, uh, some, some of these I put a couple drops of silicone in. It will do the effect like a paint pour. If you do that, you'll get some like cool little cells with it. So you could do that too. I was experimenting to see what would happen. And you will get like little cells, but... You can see like it darkens up a bit in spots. I probably put too much water just now, but that's okay. So let's see what happens. Ooh, that's thin. Ooh, that's pretty. Look at that. Make sure I put the dry on. And then I'll clean it with a little damp baby wipe helps kind of clean it up if there's like, just be careful when you do it so that it doesn't pull up what's still wet on your thing because you want it to, you know, but if you wanted to take some off like an area you want to go, I, I want it to be a little see through there. You could do that with a baby wipe and then just blot it and then dry it and you get, you know, your color or you could take a baby wipe if some of the spray like splatters over to where you don't want it. You can do that. But let's say like, oh, you know, there's not enough purple here. I, I took too much of it away. Well, that's not a big deal or lavender or whatever. Because you can always go back and add more and do the exact same thing in like the spots that you want it to be. Again, make a little barrier here. This splatters. So I can make like a little thingy. Oh, I still splattered it, didn't I? Get that off of there. That's the nice thing about it is you can wipe off the excess... And you can even move it around with your hand if you want it to go in certain places. And then dry it and do the same thing. And then give it a little squirt, not as much as I did before. I try not to soak it too much. Dry 
enough to use. I might have put too much water again. It's a delicate balance. You have to figure out what works. I might still have it not the right. I might not have, A, let it dry with the dryer enough. But again, you can keep going over it until you like it. I like it. I'm fine with it now. The longer you leave it sit, the bigger the splotches, area, the areas it'll cover. But if you let it sit too, too long, it'll cover too much. up a little bit so that it shows through better. Let's see when we get like these cool. And it starts to look like an alien planet kind of. You get like some really cool, you know, looks with it. Baby wipes are not coming out of the package. So, let those dry a bit. Now we'll do another color. Uh, we can do like a pink. And like this dark orange. Do some of that. I also like throwing some white in there sometimes. Like I'll show you what that looks like when you throw some white. Add a little white, you can do some funky things. So now, you know, you can just go over whatever spot you want. And you basically are going to do the same thing, you know. So let's say I go like that on this one. And then take this and go like here. Like that. And... Keep forgetting to put something down to get the splatters to not be all over because I don't want to cover the whole damn thing in splatters. I have to keep a put a guard up. <laughs> get some more scrap paper up here as my guard. And then you take a little white and spray it in there a little bit. Which again, I'm still making a mess even though I don't. Baby wipes are your friend. <laughs> Butt wipes are your friend. So that's those colors. Now I'll do the same thing and dry it. You can wiggle them around a little bit, let them kind of converge. And then drip off any excess so that it's not something that takes a million years to dry. And like your edges always seem to get a lot of ink, so I kind of like tap the edge so it doesn't take forever to dry on that edge. Or like dry, dry it from the outside up so that it pushes some of that ink up. Now this one, I, I, I probably dried it a little too much because it's dark up here, but that's okay because while it's still barely wet, there are ways you can, you can go in with your baby wipe and still kind of usually get, like wipe it so that you get more spots. So it's like you could play with it and get, you know, like I got a nice big spot there, you know, you got to be careful. You will wipe, sometimes wipe up a lot until it's like dry, dry, but you know. 
let's see it starts to look like it gives you those cool like splotches in there and then if you know you can always like i said go back in with different colors whatever i keep like i usually layer and layer and layer and layer until i like it You could go in with like more white since the white didn't show up too too much. I probably should have done some more at the end. But I can go in with like the white and like do like a little splotch of white like that and just kind of leave it in that area like that. take like another color and you can mix it in there add a little bit of water to it and keep doing that and then you can blot it up And you get like another cool looking like splotchy you can't see it it's got a lot of pink in it but it's hard to see because it's pale pink but oh. focus no <laughs> come on camera cut me some slack dude focus so you can get like interesting spots that are like brighter it's fun there's a lot you could do with it it's just you know you just play with them play with them and see what you know push things to the limit you know there's nothing wrong with that there's no reason why you shouldn't with your stuff especially if you, you know whether you make them or whether you buy them at the store you're still putting some money into it you know, usually you're putting less money into it if you're making them yourself. But regardless, you know, push everything to the limit. See what you could do with it. Do different things. Don't just do what you see people doing in videos and the pe the person that, you know, make makes the spray or whatever it is you're using, ink, whatever. Push it to the limit. Do stuff with it. Play with it. Don't be afraid to make a mess and mix things and, you know, experiment. What color I want. Um, let's do this darker blue. With some darker purple. stop spraying all of a sudden not nice i knew you were going to be troublesome what's the matter with you huh? what's the matter for you that bottle i may have to switch it to a different bottle there's something defective about that bottle but luckily i have another dark purple right here so <laughs> that was defective too it worked there we go okay i got it i gotcha you dumb dumb And we can add a little white in there. The white kind of gets enveloped by the color a lot of times. It'll kind of dissipate. But you can, if you spray enough of it, you can get like, like, a, like a little burst of color in there. All right, where's that blue? Over here. Need some more of that.
I like to do just sections at a time as I go around. Because if you try to do the whole thing, it's harder to control. It's harder to get like the splotches to look cool. But if you wanted these whole colors all over it, you could just do it in like quadrants all the way around. Or do smaller pieces of paper. But if you wanted bigger paper, you'd have to... I mean, you could do the whole thing at once. I've done it. It's just a little easier to control and not so, you know, just... Because sometimes you want, like, you know, nice splotches. Okay, I had that cool white spot on there. No guarantee I'm actually going to get to see it when I'm done with this. But, oh yeah, it'll come up. Because, like, you never know. You can't really, it's kind of very um, unpredictable, too, because... It's not going to do what you want it to do. It's kind of going to take on its own life. Okay. I don't even get any smudged parts. I feel like this gave it a, like a really interesting kind of pattern on there. And I'll work on one piece forever. Like I'll just sit here and just keep doing stuff to it because or you could just do a little bit like like I did the background and then move on to the next one it's you know you can do whatever you want and you could layer a ton you could sit here and keep layering and layering and layering and it's not gonna ever I've never had one turn out you know that looks bad in fact I think the more layers the better Dirty. Put that over there. All right, now let's see what colors we got. Oh, and you get really cool galaxies. You could do really cool galaxies with this too, with using the black and stuff. Pretty cool looking. I might use some more purple. I might use like three colors this time: the lighter purple, the darker purple, and the red. This I can spray it downward and not have it be. Are you gonna be any problems? Give me some color, dude. Color me up. This one's not wanting to spray great. This one might need surgery. But you can't be like, you have to be, you know, you can't be like conservative with the with the, when you're spraying you want it to be you know heavy heavily sprayed so that because if you only spray like a little bit it's going to dry so fast and you're not really going to get those cool splotchy effects as much if it if it dries too fast so this way you have more time to work with it and since you, since you're making them at home you know it's not like you're gonna waste it or have to you know Oh no, I gotta spend five dollars a bottle to get new ones because you could just make more. See how it's starting to dry so once it stops like moving and it's got still you know it's still got wet spots that's when I'll spray it you know I'll give it a couple of sprays and then I'll do this again with the heat to kind of move the water around a little bit and get it to do what I want it to do kind of and then I'll go in and start blotting it it off with the rag if you wipe it you know like it it took off like a whole section that's fine because you can always add more like 
baby wipes will help you get clean up any major splotches that splatters that you might have because while it's still slightly not perfectly dry you can you know wipe away but once it's like dry dry you're not gonna be able to do that but I like to sometimes clean it up so that it gets nice and crisp underneath of there and then you got another section looks interesting Now I'll do like in here with some, some of the teal and maybe I'll do teal and yellow. Make sure I'm putting the caps back on these because I'm terrible about that. Splatters. Try to control this splattering. Ooh, that one really splatters. Good grief. Thank you for splattering. You splattery mother trucker. Do that to me now. Who do you think you are? Forgot how much that one splattered. moving and shaking I don't like like too many sh like drippy drips like sh like lines of drip because those end up just staying like that and they don't ever kind of look you know like that kind of thing going off like I'll usually like fill that in a little bit that's fine it's not too long You see how it's like selling out. <laughs> the little cells are popping. That's from the silicone. You don't have to. Do, you don't have to put silicone in it at all. But I just did for experiment purposes. See, when you're spraying it even if you get the water everywhere else it's not going to affect anywhere else but where you you know but the part that's wet whereas if you use the oxides it'll mess up everything else you kind of got to do that all or nothing like the whole background at once how long you let it dry before you spray the water on it you'll get it, there's like it's like there's a sweet spot you got to find and once you find that sweet spot oh, some of my paper got up there but that's okay see like that looks really cool so I definitely like that I don't even have to clean anything up with that really I like it the way it is I like you just the way you are do some of the teal over here with this teal splatters so much wait I have another teal here did this one not work or something which was the one that was splattering 
that one or this one? This was the splattery one. Yeah, that's the splattery one. I'll use the other one that doesn't splatter as much. This one doesn't splatter as much. This and I'll throw some pink. Bye, Jude. She's deserting us. So let's start up here. And then get her sleep. Oh, come on. Don't be so dramatic, pink. Pink has always got to be so dramatic. in there to show up. Do it while it's drying a little bit. It's going to be a lot to dry because there's a lot of paint on there. But I love when you do the white and you get like this weird little ghosty crap going on. That's why I like sometimes spraying that white in because it'll kind of like almost border some of the things on there. I don't know. It starts to look really cool. I like it. But the more you layer it, the more like dimensional it becomes. It almost has like this 3D effect to it when you're doing it. I don't know. Can't explain it, but it's just cool looking. You're very wet on the side. Yeah, it's fine. Okay, next colors. So we're gonna, and like I can still see the original colors under there a little bit. And you know, the more you remove, it doesn't matter if I cover them up because I can just, you know, because I might like the way it comes out better as I start layering over stuff. Mm, let's see. Maybe we'll use some of this glue over here with some of the purple, blue and purple, and white. And this time, I'm going to do, actually, I'm going to do the blue and the pink and the white if I can get the, let me make sure this is going to spray. Now it sprays. The second I go to put it on the thing, it's going to decide not to. Watch. This time, I'm going to put the white down kind of first. Like I'm just going to do like a layer of white, clean up where it's splattered, and then I can go in with some of that, some of that, go back in with some more white. I 
Okay. And then... Thank you, Laura. And hi, Laura, by the way. Thank you. Stop doing that. <laughs> Stop it. Save your money. But be careful. Don't forget face uh, Facebook. YouTube does take like 40% of that. So just be careful. I don't want you to waste your money and send it to them. That's why I shut off the other one. I know she won't listen. She's stubborn. But thank you. You're very sweet. I love those little animations. They're cute. Oh, come on now. Wait or not? See now, some of the pink didn't show up, so I'll go back in with some of that pink. <laughs> you silly. You silly. Well, I'm telling you to quit. Save your money. <laughs> Buy you some craft supplies. Did you just get off of work, Laura? My pink is not very thick, so it's, it has a harder time showing up because I need to adjust it and add more pigment to it. So my pink, my pink doesn't go on as thick, so it's, it doesn't, it'll lift a lot easier because I didn't add enough. I could probably do that. I have the pigment on, on my shelf. So it, It doesn't show up as bright and it doesn't, and it lifts a lot more. I'm going to do this because of the fact that I didn't add enough pigment to it. Here we go. I'll do the red because the red has more in it, I think. It's thicker. I give you a big hug too. When are you going to come visit? <laughs> you should come visit. We can go to the creative reuse and do crafting. That would be fun. Oh, really? How, how is, are the, the fire, I think you said the other day they weren't close to you, but the, the smoke was getting to you. They're not any closer to you, are they? Yeah, now it's more pink there. Clean it up a little bit if I can, but I want some of that green to show through. My bed and breakfast, <laughs> the pink poodle bed and breakfast. Dude, my hands are disgusting. So now I'm gonna I'm gonna grab my white pigment, which is on the shelf over here. At least I think it is. It was anyway. Where did I move it? Oh, 
Because I want my pink to show up better. No, you're off, not here. Oh. Well, yeah, because even Jamie has the, the smoke coming to her in, um, in Arizona. Her skies are all smoky. I wonder if, because the winds kind of go from west to east, I wonder if we'll ever see like the hazy skies over here I mean, it's possible the fires that were in like or was that like sand or like what do you mean uh dust dust cloud from like somewhere like cr literally cross the ocean or whatever so it's not impossible that those smoke can get over this way <sighs> who's not paying attention me what i do I need my little spoony thing to, to get that in there. Or one of those sticks. This will work good. So I can spoon the white stuff in there. Don't worry, it's not cocaine. I'll probably have to put some in here. This is titanium white pigment powder. Um you can get it from earth pigments fairly cheap and that's the secret ingredient that makes the oxides and also my permanent i'm going to call them permanent mixed media oxides i don't know what you want to call them they're not really oxides when i do it because it kind of lifts the oxidation off as i put water and then blot it because that's what gives you the vibrant colors so I think what it needs is more of this. We'll give it a little bit more, make it a little thicker so that it doesn't lift as easy. And it'll make it a little more opaque. It'll lighten it as well, which is fine. Stick my thumb over it and just mix the snot out of it. Oh, yeah, a good rain would help, huh? Who's poetry? tiny tiny little scoops but it needs more than you think it does and sometimes I could put a little paint in here too that'll help thicken it a little bit as well but this is like the only color that has been like this I haven't fixed it yet And don't snort it, people. Gross. Gross. But you can use it for making, like I said, your oxides. You can use it for making these kind of sprays. You can use it for... Um, you can even use it when you make gesso, not as the powder of your gesso, but if you wanted to, you know how like when you make your gesso, you got to use obviously marble dust, 
but you can use this to add a little white to it to make it a little more opaque because you know how you have to add paint to it. Well, if you add, the more paint you add, the more, you know, liquid you have to add and glue you have to add, but you could just put the powder in and add it rather than the paint or like the paint and then some powder to, if you want a little bit more of an opaque gesso, you would, um, add a little bit of this in you know like a depending on how big your bottle is maybe a tablespoon or two yeah that's right i remember you saying that barbara oh i didn't keep that covered very well let's just get it all over the place let's just pink it out cover me in pink grab some paint too and shove a squirt shove a squirt in there that'll help darken it back up and then yeah, exactly well, let's see yeah, that's much better. Okay, we'll see how that works. Stick it back in there. Okay. Okay. Hopefully it'll be a little, have a little more staying powder, power, <laughs> and it won't blot up as easily once I start drying it because it's hard to get it because I didn't put enough in. So I'm going to do it here with some more orange maybe. I'll add with this orange here. turned it all orange. <laughs> I put too much orange. Now it's like a coral color. It's a more pink. Throw a little white and clean up the mess that I just made. Splatters. Splatters. Get off a bulk of the excess. Could use 
to be brighter, but like a brighter pink. I don't think I have like a pink. <gasps> Ooh, you know what I do have? I have a perfect thing for that. Hot pink pigment that would make it darker pink. Oh, I forgot I had that. Oh, I think this is like a well, it's a ruby, so it's like a red color. It's, but it'll but look at how dark that is. It's like a really dark, but it comes out like a obviously red is fine too because it'll still make it pink, but it comes out really pretty. It's like really dark. Got this at the critical use. It's like a really dark red. This is one of those um, Kramer paint pigments or whatever. Ugh, I keep doing it sideways and splattering it. I need more. I also have a hot pink too. Let's see if I have that one. That one actually gives off a lot of color. Right here. I don't know where that one is. The hot pink one that I had was in a bag. I don't know what happened to it. It's somewhere probably in that cabinet. I'm not going to worry about it. I'm going to add some more of the red though. Let's see if I can't get it to get darker. The darker the better. I want you to darken up a little bit so you're not so pale. Yeah, I have a tiny funnel, but I don't like to use funnels because sometimes the pigments don't go all the way down and you gotta like mess with it. This is a little bit easier if that's what you're referring to because I have one, but for the pigments, it, a lot of it sticks to the sides and it's just a waste. I find these sticks to work pretty good because you can shove a bunch in there and then you just have to worry about cleaning off the stick. not as much fuss but that's like like you can see how dark it is sometimes it takes a little time to get it to a lot of it to get it to change the color metal Funnels for mixing drinks? We need a funnel for to mix drinks. Hi, Raven. Oh, 
Ah, oh, there we go. We're getting there. We're getting there. It's hard. This um this pigment is a little bit difficult to get it to break up all the way. So I probably have to really put the thing on it and go to town shaking it a bit. And, like bang it up a little bit. Because this pigment takes its time dissolving. Unry. Hi, Wanda. How are you doing, Wanda? I think that'll do the trick. <laughs> There's so much of it on my thing that it's just all over. Okay, so that should have darkened it, and hopefully it broke up enough in there with the little balls in there. With their little balls, because it looks definitely looks darker. The first couple of sprays won't be. Let's see. Well, it turned kind of a maroony color, not maroon, but like a darker pink. I don't know why, like a. I want it to be brighter. I wonder if I add a little red paint to it. Ooh, or maybe if I add this hot pink paint to it, it'll brighten it up. That's what I do. I just experiment with all kinds of crap. You want to be careful not to make it so thick that it doesn't, pour, you know, doesn't spray out, of course, but <laughs> you'll know. <laughs> Cause it'll just not spray and I know I have to add water to it oh man I just splattered it because I didn't add the top to it I just splattered it on my face I swear my face is gonna look like as colorful as my hands by the time I'm done huh. I'm pretty good besides my besides the giant pus pocket on my the giant hard pus pocket on my jaw from having a freaking abscess from hell which unfortunately got more swollen over the last like 24 hours or so. Well, I guess that's the best it's really gonna get, but that's fine. I'll have to play more with the colors later. I'll have to start off with like a, a dark red and or something to get a, a good bright pink. Cause it's hard cause you got the white pigment in there. So it's hard to, when you're dealing with white pigment, it's hard to get anything to be a bright or a, like a, a dark color or a bright color because the white automatically kind of pastels out any color. So it can be hard to, unless you have like a, a hot pink pigment, you can use that instead of the white. But okay. So I'm not going to use that yet, but I am going to use it again because I'm going to add some other things to this now. Add a little more and then I'll be done with this one soon. I'm going to add some of the purple. I want this purple. And I want more turquoise or teal. finally got over shingles. Oh, when did you have shingles? Recently? Sometimes I'll spray it in sections, depending on if some if one of the sections dried a little quicker than the others. I 
really on your PC as opposed to what, like um, your tablet or something? spots like in there in there and then I can like throw a little purple glow oh that's good enough I guess See now what we get. And just, I like just adding the different colors. They're fun. They're fun. It's fun. But obviously, you don't have to take this long on one. I need to take my medicine. Oops. Oopsie. I forgot to take my medicine. That's not smart. Not if I want to keep out of pain. Okay, Raven, you sent me a message on Facebook.
Okay. Are you leaving, Wanda? It looks like an undersea background. Yeah, it looks little, either that or like a planet or like a crazy planet <laughs> or like the atmosphere of a weird planet or something. I'm going to stick some caps back on these before I end up with problematic sprayers. We don't want that. No, nope, we don't want it. I always do that. I end up with a ton that are sitting here with the caps off of it. Because you just want to play. You don't want to have to clean. Who wants to clean? Nobody wants to freaking clean. Cleaning is for suckers. Where's my... Oh, there it is. Oh. Alright, I want to do some more of the green. That's one of my favorites is the like lime green and teal. I like the way that looks. don't want to cover like that but I'm gonna kind of connect them here I guess don't really have a good place to dump it off I guess that'll have to do come on don't give up on me now <laughs> Wanda. I'll do a galaxy one they don't I won't, it won't take as long as this one because this one I'm just layering the crap out of for fun I like to just see 
what I get <laughs> when I layer it. I think I'm kind of almost done with this. I'm just going to add a little, I think, red. I want some more of that, like, dark red popping through around here. So I think I want to add some of that in a couple places. Like here. dry a little too long in a couple spots, but that's all right. We'll see. Oh, I mean, I don't know what else I would do with it if I can't cut it up. <laughs> it's, it's a sticker. It's on sticky. It's a piece of thin sticky vinyl. Um, so it's actually like vinyl. middle sections a little bit. I make a whole bunch of these. I can make a whole bunch of these so they all come out just as nice. So whether I cut it or not, I have others. I actually have other ones in my paint, painty paper basket that I have currently. I could show you those. They're really cool because some of them I found like little aliens in it and I would outline the aliens and give them names and stuff. <laughs> Remember that, Janie? You were definitely, I think, in there when I was doing that. Where's the other cap for the white? Uh-oh, we got a missing cap somewhere. That probably dropped on the floor. No. Okay. Yeah, be around here. There it is. A lot of the page has blue men on the back. This one? <laughs> yeah, you could find all kinds of little, especially on these. Like I have some, I'll show it in a little bit, but I have some that I outlined what I thought I saw, like little aliens and stuff, and they came out pretty neat. Let's see. Now we're going to add some, maybe some orange over here, orange, maybe some orange and pink or something. Stupid splatters, stop splattering.
another, another blotty paper that's not sopping wet. dryer you can kind of get a little more of a vigorous wipe to kind of clean it and now you have that hot mess there I like that I think I want to see if I can't clean that up in there there we go brighten that up in the middle still in a little open spots on that one yeah they're pretty hot messes that's exactly what they are um, now let's see we can do a little lavender and what the other color I was going to do Maybe a little more of the red. Okay. And then lavender. Splattery lavender. paint on this one.
Yes, we do. Cool. Back is like... <laughs> but it's a mess nonetheless all right what else anything I feel like we need something here maybe a little of the dark orange and yellow maybe I think my yellow also needs some more pigment to it. quickly all right let's see what we get out of that a Chinese dragon or a phoenix? I'm sure. You can probably see all kinds of things in here. That one came out cool. I like that one. <laughs> That's what I mean. Like you can see all kinds of things in here and then like trace them out if you're, you know, trace out what you see. white and something else in the center and then we'll call it done. Maybe the white and the dark purple would look interesting. White likes to splatter so much. It's annoying. You splattering pain in the ass. Let's see if I can try to do it. <laughs> Everywhere. Hey, get back here. You get back here. This one likes this water too. Great. You gotta be difficult, don't you? Gotta clean up your splatters. Clean up your mess. Drop. 
Get out of there, jackass. Get in on my action. Cap was like, let me in. Get in on my action. Who asked you? Nobody asked you. It don't look like much there, but it's because it was a lot of paint. And as you pull it up, it'll get better and better and better and better. I need a dry spot. There's a dry spot. Nobody likes the wet spots. Take this and help it out a little bit. now. I like it the way it is. It's more delicious. It looks better in person, like you're not seeing the color the way I do. It definitely has a better, like if I take a picture of it and post it or something, it'll look much different than it does right now. Let's try. Let's try. I can put it up. Let's see, wait, does it show better? Yeah. You can see more of the depth in the color than you can when it's actually there on the camera you can see how it actually looks more like brighter and like like, like you know and here it looks a little more dull anyway you get what i mean so that's cool all right i'm gonna do a galaxy like one um Cut a piece off. I'm gonna do a smaller one now. So it's a little bit easier and quicker to do. A little catty wampus. I cut that all kinds of crooked, didn't I? I sure did. Almost like a tag size. Hello, 
Letitia? My dog likes to create wet spots. Yeah, mine too. So for this, we'll start out with the... We'll just shove some paint. I just need a background color, so excuse me, spray pool. I'm sure you're capable of it. Just cover the background with a good solid, you know, some good solid color. I don't lift any of it. I typically just dry it. Oh, it's cool with the government. Hmm. Oh, yeah, mine do that too, where they lick their paw, but yet yeah, it ends up all over the place and they end up with like a wet spot on my couch. That's why I have blankets covering every surface of my couch, because they like to do that. It's gross. because it's still a little damp, but I'll grab those ones I was talking about that I have done already. They're over here, which I think they are somewhere. Okay, let's see. Find some of the ones I did. Let's see. They're in this little box somewhere. yourself. Oh. Here's one that I did. See, they always turn out really cool looking. Let me see if I can find the ones that I doodled on. That's the ones I'm, oh, here they are. The ones I'm looking for are those. Let me make sure I got them all. Um, is that all of them? Yeah, because I think I gave some of them away already. Okay. 
only ones I have left, but so I spelled it wrong. It's supposed to be nuclear, not N-E, but see, I put a face on it and then it's nuclear Ned and his cow Nellie. I didn't put as many layers on that one as, you know, some of them I did. And then I have Belinda the bird. And the lines were, are there wherever I saw, like, outlines. <laughs> and then my, one of my, my favorite ones is this one. Sawyer the swamp creature. He looks like he's like, hey, wait a minute. And then this is just on uh, watercolor paper. I was just doing the same thing. So... You can get that kind of a, you can pull out designs out of it because of all the different like weird spots and stuff, you know, you can like, you know, find something in each one and pull it out. And like, I see right here, right here, you see the face, two eyes and like creepy face, you know, so like you could do stuff like that and find them all over the place on these pretty easily. Okay, it's just dry now. I'll give it a little bit more heat. It looks cool the way it is, actually. I like that one, but I'm going to cover it. But I'm going to cover it anyway. Okay, so now we will put... Oh, I already did pink. I don't need any more pink right now. We want teal. We want green. And we want... No, not that teal. That's the leaky teal. What I typically will do is just stick, like, colors. Oh, I need purple. You know, this one I'll usually just cover the whole thing if it's a small one like this with, like, various colors. And, uh, and we'll shove a little bit more pink in there. And then I'll stick a little white in there to give it some interest. all kinds of colors and just wiggle it around a bit with being careful not to make mud because some of these colors don't really go together but <laughs> if you're not too crazy you can get get it to look okay I might need to brighten up this side over here of them down instead of just one.
here. Actually, I want to do like red and white over here. And teal. So, white and red and some teal. It doesn't really matter too much to get them off of this because Sharon.
can make small backgrounds a lot faster. The larger backgrounds are a little harder. With the smaller, the better usually. I mean, to do big ones, it just takes more time. Because you don't want to do big, big things at once because it's harder to control it, harder to get it to stay wet the way you want it. Okay, so we'll dry this and then I'll start the black, giving it the galaxy look. It's my favorite thing to, to use to make galaxies actually because it comes out really cool. It has a lot of dimension to it when you do it. I want to try something too. Um, so I want to try adding stars to it now so that when I do it and I lift some of it, you'll see some stars like in the background kind of, and then you can put more stars on top. So it'll really look kind of interesting. And I'm, I wanted to try that one other time, but I, I forgot to do it. So I'm going to use this to make the stars cause it'll be permanent. Come on, dude. Um, hello spray. Why do you gotta be a pain in the ass when I'm in the middle of something? Ugh. Damn thing. Must you? Okay, that's working fine, so what's your deal? Hmm. I'll just do it this way. Until I get enough color in there, just do what I want to do. Apparently that needs to soak. So we'll let it soak. That should be enough. Maybe and my fan brush, where the hell that go? There it is. I want the little one. No, not that one. That's too little. This is the other one. I have a medium sized one. Where the hell did it go? Did it disappear? Usually it was right in here. Oh, there it is. Oh, that's the big one. Well, whatever. I might need to pour some of this out to get a little more in there. I don't think that's going to really do anything. That's good. That's good. Oh, good night, Barbara. Keep this and stick a baby wipe over it because I can use it. There's enough in there to do when I do the final layer of stars. I can just use what's in there. All right, so that'll have some stars on it to start with. I think it'll look cool to have like stars. Like intertwined with the little black. Like see through the black and see some stars. That'll give more depth to it, I think. My theory, anyway. It's nice and dry. Hot. All right, here's the black. I usually use the black and the dark purple to do this, which is here. A little of both. Sometimes I have to kind of go back with some color if I, you know, do too much or whatever. It doesn't always come out perfect on the first try, but. Okay. So what I usually do is start with some purple in the middle. And then I do heavy black all the way around. There's a lot of black usually. 
a lot of paint too. Come on, purple, give it to me. Why do you have to do this now? Like you were just spraying fun. Okay, I'm gonna pour it over here because it's gonna be a ton. And to you, it'll probably all look just black. And you probably won't see a lot of the purple. In, in person, you'd see it, but on camera, it might not show up. Okay. Yeah, it just looks black pretty much. Covered. Gross. It's on my arms. It's everywhere. Okay. See the spots that are coming through? It gives you like cells. So sometimes I have to go over it a couple times. But we'll see what we get as it dries and I spray the water on it and stuff. Show some more goodness. It's getting there. It's getting there in your underwear. There we go. Now I can work with that. Now I go in with the towel and kind of brighten it up. Now I may put a little more purple and a little more black if I feel like I don't have enough, which I probably don't. There's a lot showing, but I kind of like this too. And either way, it would still look like it looks like like you're out in the, in space and there's like gas clouds and stuff. It, that's the kind of galaxy it looks like, you know, like these weird gas clouds. These black gla gas clouds are covering up like a nebula behind it or something. That's kind of what it ends up looking like, not like a typical um, like a typical galaxy. I need a clean towel. That one's kind of getting gross. Clean towel makes a difference. So I'll just brighten up these and see if I want to add either color or more black. I might add a little bit more black in a couple of spaces, but I like how I do have a decent frame on it. But let's see. See what I mean? Like it looks like these weird, you know, gas clouds. But I will add a little more black to it. I can even add a little more color to it if I want to, but I'm okay with the color. mostly black and not really any purple to this round because I don't know if you can tell that you see the purple in the middle of the black glass gas clouds. It's kind of cool looking. That's what I call them, gas clouds. So I'll do like around the edge a little more. Um, over here, a little bit more in the middle, a little bit more there, a little bit more there. I'll just add a little purple which is not working all of a sudden again. Whatever, jackass. Try this one. This is the one that don't work at all, is it? This is the one that just... What's wrong with my purples? Purples are... are uh, let's throw a little bit of this in there and see what happens. Let's see what happens when I do that.
more. I like how those blue made that. Looks cool. Yeah, I like it now. Now it's got more like mystery areas that are shining through. And I'll brighten them up too. Kind of make them appear better. few more gas clouds and I'm done with that except I'm just gonna add some stars now but some other floating stars in there because you can still see the stars in the background I'm gonna add a few more the stars always make it look like like if even if it doesn't look anything like anything in space as soon as I add the stars it's like oh yeah now it really looks like space it always makes transforms it get the white out here And the brush. Yeah, exactly. Like an asteroid belt. Yeah, gas cloudy kind of asteroid belt type of thing. Yeah, that's more what it looks like. It's not your typical kind of galaxy. It kind of has a different feel. It's almost impossible to get that typical galaxy using this, but... Um, bigger stars this time going closer there we go now I'll dry it spacey kind of vibe I don't know if the colors pick up in there focus jackass fun look like galaxy <laughs> like alien hands going all the way up my arm there's like spots all the way up my arms that's what happens I don't wear gloves I like to be one with my mess it looks like I'm yeah I'm stuck in the asteroid belt <laughs> for sure the asteroid of creativity Cool. Let's see. Let me get another piece of the doohickey. I'm going to take a couple of little ones and see if I can get, make little aliens on them that I can draw. Little aliens. Oh, what's that white thing for the white? Let's see if it'll be unclogged now and not be such an ass. You need to stick a pin in the hole. Peel away the gook. Come on, 
you could do it. Why are you still being a pain in the ass? What's the matter with you? You don't want to play nice anymore? Dude, what's your deal? And the wife's like, I'm done. I've had enough. Look at that pin. Don't see anything like major, and it's coming out there, no problem, which means it's got to be this. Spray. Probably a little bit thing in there that I don't think I can get out without it popping out on its own, kind of. Yeah. I have another one. I don't know if this one will fit. <clears throat> No, I don't think it's going to fit. Nope. Nope. I have another bottle. Let me grab it. Let me grab it. A bottle. New bottle. New bottle. There's not very much in there, so I might add a little of the white stuff and make a little more. Because. There's more than I thought there was. Okay, never mind. Well, that's because this bottle is so much smaller, so. These bottles are smaller, so that's okay. I don't need to make more. And I could soak these bottles and usually fix them once they've soaked a while. So. Works. Works. What about you, jackass? Are you doing the same thing or are you going to work? I think you just need to be cleaned a little bit because yeah, you're working too there. There's stuff com coming out, but I think you just need to soak a minute. So let him soak a second. What was the other one that was giving me a problem? That's fine. That's fine. Okay. Lavender? Nope. Um, black was okay. That was okay. This one just needs a little soak too. That one I didn't use very much. This is the other one that's not, that needs another bottle. So this one and that purple one, I think. Oh no, that's the one that sprays just messy. It sprays like really strong. So that's fine. It's just, it sprays messy. Messy. And then you're okay, right? Yeah, you spray kind of messy too, but it's always just spray. Oh, disgusting. God. Covered in it. It was the other purple one. It was this one that I couldn't get to. It was all yuck. So I'll put this in another bottle too, but it won't all fit. But that's okay. Because I can't have that happening. 
where it doesn't spray and then it just leaks out the top because I don't know why it's doing that with that bottle. Alright, so that'll just be the extra left over. And then I need a ball. Give me your balls! Hmm. Dark blue? What? Oh, it wasn't working, you mean? Put a couple in there. Make sure it stays working. There we go. Now you work. Now you be working. What about you, Missy? Yeah. You're okay. Clean it up a little bit. Depending on like how much stuff you put in there and how thick it is, it'll be lesser, more problematic. Oh, that's right. This one was working intermittently. Get off. Come on, you cut you came right off before painting my ass. They can be a little fiddly. Just because they're very thick. But once you have them working, they pretty much will stay working pretty well. I don't usually have massive amounts of problems with them as long as you keep them, you know, semi-cleaned up, not just disgustingly messy. If you're somebody who likes to leave everything just a hot mess when you walk away from your craft desk, then these aren't going to work for you because you're going to end up clogging the hell out of them. That's the only thing. Yeah, let's let's, re let's rebottle this one too. <laughs> I just don't want to deal with it right now. I want to be able to use it. Get nice and shaken up. Shaken, not stirred. The balls always want to stay in there. There's not enough room for that little bit. So, you can just suck it. I'll put a new ball in. Yeah, I can, if I soak all the bottles, they'll still work fine. They just need to be soaked in a little bit of alcohol and water. It usually does the trick. I don't want it to dry up at all. Alcohol and water usually does it. But right now I've just got some water over here to see if I can get these two to, because they were spraying, they just weren't spraying well. Well, it's, it's not that it's thickening, it's that there's pigment in it. And so the ball really doesn't make a difference. It's just the fact that, because um, it, it doesn't matter because they settle and they're always going to settle um, because there's pigment powder in them. So mixing ball, extra mixing ball or not, doesn't stop it from clogging these because it dries. That's the problem because it's not a water soluble spray it's a permanent spray so it starts to dry and clump up you know over time especially if you don't you know clean it and you know but it's fine as long as you you know just soak them every now and again the little tops and clean out the you know the little well area that gets dirty let's see if this guy sprays any better now there we go. That's better. See, sometimes I just need a little encouragement, a little soaking. I do have the other purple, so it doesn't really matter. And this was the teal one. Let's see. Just stick something in, make sure there's no dried paint in there. And have a little pin. Clean that up. Because as long as, if you turn it over and press, as long as there's stuff coming out of it, you know it's not this that's clogged. You know it's typically this. Um, there we go. Okay, it's good to go. Let me go get a drink real quick. I'll be right back.
Okay. Got me a drinky. Make sure it wasn't supposed to. I did not get mini muffins though. It just looks like it. <laughs> Hi, Red Baron. How are you doing? I'm good. Where did the little paper? Uh oh, there it is. Okay. I'm not eating it. I'm just looking at it with my mouth. Hi, Angel. Carla. Hi, Sarah. Very wet and gross. We don't need that. It's not necessary. It's just not necessary. Crystal, wait a minute. Whose name is Crystal? Angel, right? Your name is Crystal? R uh, Rustic Ink Angels? I forget. I know you've told me your name. But it's yours name. Your name is Crystal, right? Okay. <coughs> Taking two or three colors and, and putting them on a background, you get like a cool, like, blend. Okay, now 
we will put some of this color. And I'll do like a whole piece at once this time. get some interesting things go on when you move it and then we will dry it So I have so far, I could see things in that already, but I'm going to even add some more to it a little bit. Let's see, we'll do some dark purple. Why are you flowing that way too? orange. Toss some of that over here.
You leaving already, Crystal? That's pretty. That's pretty. Pretty. It's getting pretty. Interesting. What did that Red Baron person do? <laughs> Act like a jackass. All he did was wave and say all. What happened? What did he do? Did you accidentally take him out? Hidden? Why'd you hide him? What did he do? That was rude. I don't see anything that he did that was rude. What am I missing? I don't see anything. He did? Oh, I didn't see that. I don't even see where it's erased that he did. <laughs> We don't need no vagina talk. We know what vaginas are. <laughs> Most of us have one. He talked about vaginas. <laughs> Get out of here, you vagina talker. Did he use the word vagina or was he saying it in, in the other term? The P word or the C word or the T word? <laughs> Oh, no, the the, the, the JJ. <laughs> the Vaheen. The Vaheen. I don't have any dry paper here. I also need to, well, that side's kind of dry. We'll just do it. Do it to it. Oh, I'm going to dry one over here. Didn't even see it.
I think I see kind of an alien, maybe. I know what it needs. I know exactly what it needs. Is that a newer heat gun? No. Well, I mean, does it look, <laughs> does it look like it? No. It ain't new. We're going to spray the snot out of it all over. Spray the bejesus out of it. Like that. Do the things. Put these. Oh, you can, <laughs> the clean part, which part is that? <laughs> which is the clean part? I'd love to see the clean part of this. She dirty. She really dirty. She's past her prime. been rode hard and put up wet. What the hell that means. There we go. That's kind of interesting, sort of. I don't know what kind of alien I'm going to get off of it, but maybe I need to do it again. I think I will. I think I will. Excuse you. What do I want this color? I think I'll do it again. Green's one of my favorite colors for this. We'll add a little bit of the tealy, tealy, wheelie, wheelie. We got pretty, pretty splattery things all over the place here. Okay.
you covered a little more than I expected you to, didn't you? Didn't you? That's fine. I kind of like it though. <laughs> Alright, we'll let that one dry a little bit as it's getting saturated like hell. And we'll go to this one. Which side is the right side? This side. <laughs> it's hard to tell. Mini muffin? Eh. Hi, Zoe. <laughs> the end with the cord, she said. <laughs> really? <laughs> the whole cord is disgusting. <laughs> is who preparing for Halloween? Me? No, not yet. Halloween monster with oranges and purples. What did I do that for? That's not the lid. I literally took that off like it was the lid. You dumbass. This one loves to splatter all over me. happen and drip it all over the place. Make it nice and dirty. Not a black spot, but it's actually the light hitting it. <laughs> I looked in the camera, I was like, is that a white spot on there? Yes, yes, I see now. What do you see? What do you see? All right, now, maybe I'll do some of the green and a little bit of teal. And then I'll put purple over top of it and maybe we'll get a cool looking alien dude.
could do. I could cut myself a, a big piece of this and put it here. And any of my drips can drip on it if it'll stay flat enough. Make just a drippy page instead of. Even though I like, I'll usually usually use this as a as a collage sheet anyway, but. Neat. Oh, I see. I see figures. Maybe I'll leave this one. I just kind of like it. I see things. That's when I see things already, so I'm going to leave that one alone. Let's go back to this dude here. Let's see. Do you need some help? I don't see much of anything in this one. A little bit. I kind of do. Actually, I do see something in that one, so we'll get a, a new one. A new paper! I'll just do the whole one of that. That's what I'll do. Stop telling me what to do. Did you already? Oh, that's right. Hold up. Can you take my Advil? I need to take my Advil. Well, let me start this background first and then I'll get to that. What was I doing? Oh, pink. Da, drippity a my oh my it's such a drippity day plenty of drippage coming my way zippity doo da dripping is the way how's the tooth well the gum is really swollen i have like a golf ball attached to my gum uh so it looks like i'm gonna have to have the oral surgery that's gonna be interesting I 
I can take my Advil now because that's got to dry it anyway. at a standstill. Sorry to hear, Zoe. That sucks. Are you going to a counselor or anything? Was the strongest does not sound better did they give you a prescription for oh no that, no they didn't give me a different prescription I I'll be finished with my prescription after tomorrow it's just that it you know it's just didn't work it's just a bad infection I guess so not a whole hell of a lot I can do with it other than have it surgically removed well yeah because even if you know what the problem is a counselor can help teach you how to give you the tools to deal with it which is you know or if you go to a psychiatrist you know a, a, a psychiatrist as well, they can give you some medication that'll help, you know. I mean, depression is depression. And if you're at a standstill in your life because of whatever the situation is, sometimes you need, you know, the combination of somebody to talk to to kind of figure out, you know, to get it out. And a lot of times getting it out is helpful. They can help you figure out how to navigate it. And then when you have the medication, you know, it helps kickstart your stand, you know, the fact that you're standstill and makes it easier. See, that's something you definitely should have counseling for, you know, I mean, you don't just go to counseling when you don't know what's wrong. You know what I mean? Ton, you know, most people go to counseling when they, you know, have somebody that they've lost in their life or, you know,
Because if you're unable to get yourself through it, then somebody else, you know, can help you find the right direction. And sometimes temporarily some medication added along with the counseling makes a big difference and could really help. some black on here too. It's going to be all kinds of crazy. Yeah, and, and you can't just take one medication and, and if it doesn't work for you, be like, oh, well, I'm screwed. There's so many different medications and they have to find the right one, you know. They have to find the right one that works for your body and your, you know, chemical in your brain that's causing the problem. And that can take, you know, that can take a little time. It could take a year or more, you know. So you just have to be patient with it. But, you know, if you don't try, then, you know, it's never going to you know, get any better either, you know, what's, is it better just to sit in a funk every day or is it better to try, you know, you got to try, is it, it probably won't resolve itself and it might just make matters worse if you don't try. It's become a disgusting mess now. Well, I know people that have had to take, you know, six different medicines before they got it right, you know. You also have to make sure you're taking them consistently and help and it helps to have counseling at the same time. It helps a lot. like another asteroid field kind of or a green chemical smoke cloud but I'm going for aliens or monster -y type things I kind of see one though I think I might keep that area and maybe do something a little bit over here I have I see a little guy here but I don't see much over this away over yonder this away needs a little help so maybe we'll do teal teal and yellow maybe Thank you. 
Do you have the support of like family and friends and stuff like that, Zoe? People you can at least, you know, talk to. Did he, wait, did your husband die, Zoe? And you said it was this past February? Hey, Maricha, how are you? see something there too so that'll work I like that all right next I need another piece another piece background. Come on. Come on. Don't get all funkified on me now. You got it. You got it. You got it. You got it. like seaweed <laughs> you just working I saw you working I saw it come out cool thanks for coming hanging out how's everything been lately with you still so I see I didn't I didn't realize that I knew I, I couldn't remember what happened but I knew something happened I remember you mentioning it but I always get everybody confused but um but yeah if it's only been since February of course you're gonna feel like this that's completely and completely normal you know so don't think that it's oh why can't I get over it I mean it's it, it's completely normal but yeah counseling will definitely help because especially if you get somebody that deals with grief counseling which is important it'll make such a big difference you know what I mean and if you if you go to a counselor and for some reason that counselor you know you don't think that your personality's fit or it's not working for you you know give it a week a couple of weeks you can always go to somebody else you know sometimes it takes a little while to find the right counselor too but you have to you know go through the process but it really could help <laughs> you like the black <laughs> just paper <laughs> yeah it looks cool 
I'll continue to add to it, but I'll leave it kind of bloppy. Bloppy. But dealing with your mental health is just as important as dealing with your, you know, your everyday health. Because sometimes your body or your brain doesn't know how to, you know, it's hard to, you were together so long, it's hard to, you know, for your brain to process, you know, but you can definitely, you know, you'll definitely, it'll get easier. It'll get better. There's a light at the end of the tunnel. You have to just trust in that because there is, you just have to get over the hump, you know, and get in the proper directions you know, with counseling and medicine and all that. And then kind of, you know, you, it, it'll take time. It's not going to be, you know, an overnight thing, but it'll happen. Just don't think that you're going to feel like this forever because you won't. I promise you won't. I mean, of course, you'll always miss them. You'll always love them and all that. But I just mean you won't always feel like so lonely and so, you know what I mean, in despair the hell did that cap just go? Damn it. I dropped it and now I can't find it. What the hell? I literally dropped it and it completely disappeared as if it was that white thing. And it, hello? Did something grab it from the pits of hell and take it with it? Right here. You gotta be kidding me right now. <laughs> That's the most bizarre thing. <laughs> like, I don't understand how that happens, and it happens so much in my craft room. I could drop one thing on the floor and it'll disappear completely. Like, I'll never see it again. You know, like that kind of disappear. Now I gotta take one off of this. Good lord. Give me a break. Take one off of a new bottle. Let me run to the potty real quick. I'll be right back. Okay, somebody decided to get up and 
bug me, so I think he's gonna, yeah, he wants to go, damn it. <laughs> he wants to go pee. So give me another second. Let me take care of him before he bugs the hell out of me. I'll be right back. Okay. <sighs> okay. Let's go back. What was I doing now? What color was I going to do? Purple? Was I doing purple? Dang it. I had a plan. Now I forget the plan. Well, maybe we'll do red and purple. The plan got derailed. <laughs> Let's do red and dark purple. Are you kidding? I've already dealt with you so many times. Why are you being an ass? How many more bottles would you like to switch to before you grow up? <laughs> Are you going to work? Kind of. Jeez. Grow up. Just throwing all kinds of stuff going on here. Into the other colors. <laughs> Where'd it go? This one. We lost that color a little bit. We lost the red a little bit. Okay. Messy. Messy Bessie. Good enough.
Is it that you're you're you, you don't feel like you could be comfortable talking to somebody, Zoe? Like what's your what's your your apprehension of going to a counselor? Like what's the the reason why you don't, you know, want to go or haven't felt like you wanted to go? Did you think they couldn't help or I mean, not knowing what to expect is normal, but also, I mean, it's not going to hurt. <laughs> you know what I mean? I mean, even if it doesn't necessarily, even if for some reason, you know, it, it doesn't help. It's, I'm sure it's not going to hurt for sure. You'll get something out of it. But mostly if you have any issues where you're not feeling like you're getting anything out of it, you got to give it like a, you know, a good month to start to feel but if you don't, then you find somebody else. You know, if there's somebody that you don't click with or you don't vibe with, you know, but you could do research and find the best counselor for exactly what you're going through. That would be a grief counselor. Um, you just look up and, and, and there's ratings for them and you'll see, you know, what other people say about them and do a little research and you can find one in your area that, you know, I mean... If you need help, let me know, because if you just tell me your area and, and give me some, you know, brief information about your, you know, where you live and this and that, I can help find you somebody if you want me to, because I've helped, uh, you know, other people and friends and stuff find, find counselors and stuff based on, I go, you know, I look at ratings and, and cuss, like other patients reviews and stuff. That's what I go by a lot of times to find, you know, either a good doctor or a therapist or what have you. I try to see what other people are saying about them. Because usually if a lot of people are saying good things, typically that is a good sign. <laughs> mm. That's also a good idea. Like Raven said, a, a, a support group would be fantastic. There's tons of them on Facebook. Tons. That would be a great idea. you know, getting support from other, other women who are going through, you know, virtually the same thing, you know. Maricha, did you leave? Where'd you go? No, 
know, you can, it doesn't, you don't have to have your insurance suggest anything. As long as the counselor that you find takes your insurance, then you don't have to do any of that. With usually with mental health things, you don't have to have referrals to go to a counselor. You can just go to whoever you find and that you're, you know, as long as they take your insurance. Um, and you don't have to, you know, go through like your doctor and find a referral for a specific, you know, thing or have your insurance company have anything to do with it. Um, just as long as you find somebody that is, takes your insurance, then you're, you know, you're good to go. Yeah, you can find somebody in network just by, you know, you can look on, on the website if you're signed up through the website or, I mean, whatever your insurance is, let's say it's Cigna or something, you could just, you know, like I said, when you go to look up um, counselors online to do a little research, usually they'll say, we take Cigna, blah, 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 this plan, that plan, whatever, and they'll usually say, and if you look at your, uh, your card, your insurance card, it'll... Um, it will uh, it will usually have you know what type of plan you have and all that information on it. But yeah, if you need help, let me know because Chris worked for an you know insurance company for you know like twenty something years, and so I'm pretty familiar with you know all that stuff. And anything I don't know, he he will because he literally worked for Cigna, you know for many years. Let's see, can I find anything in this one? Come on down the back. Dude, go lay down, bud. me to tuck his ass in I think <sighs> I think I'm gonna do a little oh. I think I see like a turtle over here <laughs> Oh, and send me your address, Zoe, because I have something for you that you had won, but at one time I, I don't I don't think I either had your address or you had moved or something happened. Um, so send me your address. And as soon as I am able to send it, because right now I have to worry about getting this freaking tooth taken care of, which is ugh, annoying. Okay, relax. The world don't revolve around you, bud. <laughs> Stand behind me, wag his tail. Yes, it does, mommy. Yes, it does. Yes, it does. Mm -hmm. He says, "What's your dealio, bud? Can't you see I'm trying to find aliens, alien life?" too much. Oh, we're going to pop a little green on there, but let me go tuck his ass in. All right, go ahead. I'll tuck you in. Let's go. Tucky, tucky. A tucky, tucky. Come on, Kentucky. Come on. Get in here, tucky boy. All right, lay down. Come on, down, down. 
Oh, nice. There we go. You're such a baby. You're all tucked, okay? Yeah, good boy. Okay, go night-night. Night-night. Mm, he's so cute. He's so cute. He's a brat, but he's cute. <laughs> Don't do this to me now. I got my real work of art right here. <laughs> I say don't leave the caps off and always have the caps off. I'm a bad influence. Bad influence. darken it a little bit so I can determine maybe red. That's a good idea. Red? Oh, maybe this purple. No, this, I want something dark. Screw it. This time I'll just put a little drop of white. And a little more red. Still don't see much though. Dang it. Well, that'll have to sit over there for now. Hey, don't mess up my piece of art. My masterpiece. It's my masterpiece. what it is but it's a mess now I'm gonna get a piece of cardstock and do one on just cardstock hi Teresa what are you doing I want to put more powder in this one and what was the other one this one and I think the blue one yeah I think it was these two needed it yeah where'd I put it there it is 
but they're not strong enough. Actually, I do have blue powder I can put in here. Oh, you do one at a time before I make a damn mess. Where's the guppy? Teal? Now the teal's okay. The teal has enough. It was the these two colors didn't really have enough. It wasn't they weren't getting opaque enough when I would spray them. I need that white to make that happen. The teal was doing fine. It was the yellow and the and that blue. That was not not doing what I wanted it to do, basically. jackass. I didn't realize that top. I always do that with the damn top. I think that one's going to be the twist top and then it ends up being the other one. It doesn't really matter. Hard clear for using a finish coat to protect the patina finishes. Oh, that'll work. I can use this one. Open <coughs> fool. Mm -hmm. Get this over the garbage can. In case I spill it, which I didn't, because I'm a good girl. Put that over there. Now, oh, before I do that, I gotta mix it.
Tortuga. Now we got the blue. Let me see if I got some blue pigment powder over here. No. Is it marble dust? No, no, no. No, pigment. No, you don't use marble dust in here. You use white, titanium white pigment. And you can't use titanium white pigment as marble dust either. Marble dust has to be marble dust. And this is pigment. Pigment! Pigment powder. Piggy, piggy, piggy. Okay. A few drops of blue printer ink to make it darker. Sorry, Raider, I didn't see it. But ask it. Oh, 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 oh. No, this, yeah, use, this is a, uh, I have uh, instructions, um, cause I made these accidentally. I was trying to make more oxide sprays cause I, I have a video where I show how to make the oxide sprays, you know, and they're water soluble. So, um, where these are not, these are permanent and I kind of made them accidentally and I found out that I really like them. So, because they make cool effects that you can't get with the oxides, you know. So, I have a video called DIY Mixed Media Sprays, I think I call them. Just put in Mixed Media Sprays when you're searching my channel. And if you want the oxides, put in DIY Oxide Sprays and they'll come up. The videos will come up on how to make them. Let's see. Spray it in the garbage. Oh, there we go. That's better. Uh oh. Uh oh. You no spray? You no spray? Why you no spray? What's the matter for you? You no spray? Why you no spray? You being jackass? You being a jackass? Come on, fool. You could do it. Work it out. Push it out. Shove it out. Way out. Come on. Did you get something stuck up in there? Probably. Uh, can't get the top off. Good lord. Uh, Jesus. Okay. I probably got something in hither that part's working so it's got to be in here either in here or the nozzle give it a pokey violate its orifice I just got stuff all over my hands as if it matters really I mean look at my hands oh no I got stuff on my hands Come on. 
Oh, I don't like you anymore. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Work it out. Do it. You can do it. I have faith. Mm, let me soak you for a minute. Uh, why, why can't I get these things off? Uh, come on, fool. Ah. Mm, I need like a grippy thing. Oh, I have a grippy thing. In here. Oh, that ain't grippy enough. Here's the little one. There it is. I have this thing here. Maybe that'll grip it a little better because I can't get it off. Oh, there we go. Got it. I'll shove you in the water. Sit there and behave. Watch you sit for a minute. All right. That's that. Excuse you. Excuse you. All right. Let's get these out of the way. I didn't need to add water to that one because it was already full. It just needed more pigment. It didn't need more water. I was only adding water to the other one because I filled it a little further. I added more varnish and water because it was almost empty. But that one was still pretty full, so I just wanted to add pigment to make it a little bit more opaque. Come on, close your ass up. Come on, do it. Do it. there you can go back there and this water can go in my thingamabobber because it's about empty and we'll keep you back there okay back to business I'll check on that cap in a little bit because I ain't using it right now anyway. Uh, let's see. I'm going to test out my yellow. Yellow and orange. What's a poodle roll? Oh, yeah, use all caps. <laughs> Flattery. Splattery. It's hard to do a big page because it like wants to bend and Alright. Are you gonna give me problems now, fool? You can do it. You can do it. You could do it. Faith. I have faith. Ugh. You go into the dungeon too. problems from all the peanut gallery of caps.
Deprived of carnivals? How come? Well, as a kid, I was kind of deprived of carnivals because my parents would never take us to those. If I if I ever got to go to a carnival, which was like probably twice in my whole childhood, it was either with my sister or with one of my friends and their family. I had gone to Disney World a lot, but that's because my parents liked Disney. But we'd go on a little, you know, some rides, but then I'd have to walk around and just like go shopping with my mother. You know, seven-year-old don't really want to do that at Disney World. <laughs> my parents didn't really do things like, oh, you know. I want, you know, let's surprise the kids and take them on a vacation and let them do what they want to do. No, it was always, we did what they wanted, my parents wanted to do, and we kind of were the burden that they had to take with them. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, sometimes they would leave us with random relatives, even if that random relative was not the best place for us to be left with. <sighs> and they would never stay there themselves you know what I mean but they would put their kids there which I thought was very odd because they weren't very they were a bit on the self-centered side when it comes to you know how to raise a child but Let's see. Come on, are you still not going to work? This is unacceptable. Unacceptable. All right, you need to clean out, so I'll have to put you in a different bottle. Let's see if you're capable of getting over yourself long enough to spray something for me. You're almost there, but no. I'm going to have to soak these bottles, so I'll have to transfer them into another bottle for now. Oh, are you working now? No. Okay. We will transfer you and you to new bottles. Being jackasses. And I'll soak these current bottles in some alcohol water, which will loosen all that crap up. Soak it in there for like four days. Yeah, I, I don't think my parents ever took me to a carnival. If, if we went anywhere, it was like Bush Gardens or Disney World or something like that because my you know, more because my parents wanted to go there than us wanting to go there. You know what I mean? It was more for them. They didn't really do anything specifically for us. <laughs> like most parents would... Oh, wrong one, dummy. Most parents would, you know, have a vacation with their kids in mind, you know, and my parents were the opposite of that. And I thought that, you know, that was normal, you know, all the way up until I had a friend who, now on, on a couple occasions, my dad and mom would let me take a friend with us so that they didn't have to deal with me, especially when we went to Florida because they had a house in Florida so that they didn't have to deal with me the whole summer that they would let me take a friend um, for the summer. Which was always such a relief for me when, when they would do that because <laughs> otherwise I'd be bored to freaking tears. Okay, now put 
put your lid on so you don't dry completely and then we will soak you you'll be good to go did i put the things in this yes okay okay that looks cool on its own that's because i did um on top of you know how i made these i also some of them i put a couple drops of silicone in which gave them that thing where they make like little cells as it dries so it will do that okay now um what color should i do and, oh maybe we'll do the blue and the teal oh. see the two different colors. black in there just to make it interesting. had it this rag is like wet and gross yeah they look alike on camera they looked alike a bit in the thing but not really not as bad as on camera the camera always makes things look different Oh, I 
I'm showing you some spots. There we go. Blue and orange is the color combo for Florida. <laughs> I didn't even think about that. Thanks, Zoe. French bulldogs dogs are really cute. I like French bulldogs. Okay, now. Now I'm gonna do what I wanna do is add some of the black in with the this blue. I wanna squirt some of that black in there and kind of darken it up a little bit. Give it a more a darker, leave some more, a little more. Not much room in the bottle. Well, that's better. Now I can tell the difference. Oh, you can't on camera. It doesn't. It still looks similar on camera, but they're really different. Much more different now. Like that was the blue before, and then I spray it. Has a little bit more of a dark, a little more dark. Okay. Definitely, I need to make more green soon because my green's running out. My green's one of my favorites for this. And we'll do green. And I guess that's it. And just do green. Oh, I could do this color too. I haven't done this color. This is like a turquoisey green. Well, these two are the same color, um, and this is the only yellow I have, but 
and this is a this is like a sort of a pastel turquoise color kind of and this is like a uh oh I better not start your crap either this is like a, a uh, what do you call it green uh, um, lime greenish kind of thing hey stand up don't be drunk So much drip off, dummy. Okay. Green always has the best impact, I feel like. I think it looks cool. It's one of my favorites. Oh, in the wash. In the wash. That ain't the right cover for that one. Alright, now we can take a little pinky. there some red there and we'll do some dark purple excuse me. I just put you oh, you're really getting on my nerves purple will your old bottle work for me come on come on pump it pump it pump it no nope. you're a jackass for some reason and maybe it's the thickness of this or something excuse you Excuse you. He really doesn't want to do anything. Gotcha, gotcha jackass. Gotcha, jackass. Oh no, I didn't want. I didn't want that. Get over here. I don't want big stripes going down the freaking thing. Clean baby wipe would help. There we go. the splatters from that purple is like whew. there we go I didn't want it dripping that away oh, that's good enough
said no the first time. Are you testing my patience? Yes. You're trying, ain't you? this back because I know it needs more varnish because these guys are doing nice things whereas my pink is doing crappy things because I don't have enough varnish in it so it's not wanting to stay put whereas the red is good purple being good giving me nice uh, sections but it didn't give me what I wanted. You're a loser, Pink! Why you gotta be such a loser? You too full for varnish? Actually, there's still some in this bottle the old bottle so I'll pour some in there. That should be good. That's the problem. You need your varnish. <sighs> I don't have any dried out baby wipes. I pretty much toss them because they get all gross. Ooh, too much, too much. We're gonna have a problem. First I wanna mix it so I don't dump out all the varnish. I'm gonna dump some out. I'll dump it into here again. Filled it up, filled it up too much. Because if I saved all these baby wipes, it would just be a mess. I have nowhere to put them to dry. I already have some that I saved just because I like the colors on them. But it would just be a hassle. I'd never use them. I'd forget. It would just be... I just use these rags and then I wash them. And then I wash them. Alright, let's see if you could do a better job now. Pink. Stinky pinky. Can you do it? I need, a, I need a scratch paper to use as a buffer so it doesn't splatter. Oh. I know how much it loves to splatter. Yeah. 
No, I know what you meant. I just don't want to have to, like, sit them somewhere to all dry. Do you know what I mean? Because I don't really have the room to sit them anywhere, really, but the garbage can. <laughs> I'd have to throw them in a pile, and I'd never dry like that. Not in, not in this house. So I'd have nowhere to like let them dry. I only usually keep just the ones I, I keep for color reasons because they're pretty. Are you still being blotty? What the hell, man? Oh. Dry you a bit. You need to be dried more. I'm like a fart. Oh, the, the red? Oh, maybe it just needs to be a little dried more, but it's like it's being weird now. Come on, dude. Now you don't have any spots. What are you doing to me? I don't like you. What are you doing to me? Oh. That's just not right. Gross. Well, you just didn't do anything you were supposed to do now, did you? Nope, you didn't. Too much damn varnish in there or something. Anywho. Now I will put another color over it. too much pigment in it too that could be it but that's all right I'll make it work itself out figure it out my formula is a big definite formula that could be what's wrong with the pink I think, I think it's what's wrong with the pink and possibly the blue too. Problematic today, my bottles are. 
problematic. pink one needs to be dumped into the other bottle and added a little water actually not water but color is what it needs maybe a little water but mostly color is what it needs that's what it needs I like that we're getting somewhere with that but yeah I need to take some of that pink out and add I need some uh, liquid color I need to grab some of my liquid color This go around. Grab my colors. Colors. Which one is this? Can't tell which one that is. What is this one? That actually looks like magenta. Yes. Yes. Yeah, yes. Which one's that one? Is that the one I want? That is not the one I want. Orange. I need to refill my green too. So. Cause my pink needs to be a little darkened. in this little area down here Let's see if that is better you can tell already it is
supposed to. Thank you. Thank you. Some of the holes. A lot of red underneath of there. Still a lot of pigment in it, but it's much better. string on my finger. I need to burn it. I want to use this one. This is the better one. It'll calm the pigment down a little bit. Squirts of water. other varnish I used probably was crappy. I didn't know what, where, I think I got it at the Creative Reuse. I will say nothing beats that kind of varnish I did use and originally I liked the best. Definitely like that one the best, but it's very expensive. You want to remove your eye makeup? I have some really nice, um, well, you can use them as, they're ma meant for make makeup removal, but they're also um, for just face wash, too. And they're called, um, oh, crap, what's the name of the company? Yes to Tomatoes is the name of the company. It's a funny name, but they make the nicest freaking cloths for the for face wash they're so nice 
so they're not like typical baby wipes. Okay, let me see. Good on copy paper, but okay. Yeah. All right, that's good enough. It's not being so weird anymore. My hands, look at them. Not only are they covered, but because they've gotten so wet, they're like getting um like raisin. Look at them. And it's like seeping into all the wrinkles. My fingers look like I have gangrene. <laughs> it's disgusting. Disgusting. Oh, nastiness. Okay. We're going to add some white on this side, too. Cool, cool. Actually, I want a little bit more over here, too. A little bit more over here. Ow. You got a splatter. Ladder. Lavender.
Pro. Kiro. Kind of dig it. I kind of dig it. I did. Or the weird asteroid belt. <laughs> Where'd the other one go? The first one. Uh oh. Where'd that go? Oh, there it is. I found it. That one. It's groovy. I like it. They are fun to do, I'll tell you. It is fun to do. It's fun to do. Let's see. Let me get another piece of this cardstock a minute. Oh, get back out of here. Get, get, get. I cut it though. Which one wasn't working now? The green wasn't working? Is that one giving me problems now? Ugh. You printed your own business cards, use a laser printer, how would you recommend sealing them? With a, if you use a laser printer, you don't have to seal them. Why, why would you have to seal them? Laser printers don't need to be sealed. Laser printers, you can wet that ink all you want. It ain't gonna, it isn't gonna run. You don't need to seal them at all. Now, if it was an inkjet printer, you still wouldn't have to seal them. Not unless you planned on getting them wet. What do you mean it moves? It moves? Laser printers shouldn't move. It's got toner cartridge that doesn't even have any liquid in it. Are you sure it's a laser printer? Or is it a <clears throat> or is it an inkjet printer? I've never heard of laser print moving. Oh, I broke my stick. Oh no. I broke my stick. What? It transfers? It's not supposed to do that. It might be the paper you printed it on. Did, uh, is the paper not meant for a laser printer? I've never ever heard of that. Something ain't right with that. Something ain't right. Whether I don't know if it's the paper or the toner you have in there, but no, I have I, I have a laser printer and never in a million years any of my prints will move if I touch it with water, my finger, doesn't matter. Because it doesn't use a liquid ink, so um, so I would find out if it's the paper lightweight cardstock. Like, do you know what brand of cardstock or anything? Do you have the package of it that you can take a picture of it and show me? Never ever heard of that happening with a laser printer. Have you, Janie? You've had a laser printer, haven't you, Janie? side of the desk all over everything. Oops. Oops. She posted stuff from Tuesday morning. Huh. And you sure it said that it was good for a laser printer? Or for printers in general? Try a different piece of paper. Do you have like a piece of standard copy paper that you can laser print something onto? 
and see if it still does that because if it still does on a piece of copy paper then you need to get that toner checked out something might be wrong with it or something i just never heard of that before ever oh no don't do that don't be a fool Oh, yeah, there's something up with that. Something's up with it. That ain't, that ain't normal. This is a laser printed graphic. I don't want to lay it down on the table, but water. Just beads off. Nothing smudges. That's how a laser printer should be. Nothing should smudge. If it's smudging, something's wrong. I don't know what, but something's wrong. Like it was vacuum paper. Five-year-old toner, cartridge, fresh tree. Let me look at something really quick. Oh, okay. So this is what the problem is. Your, um, there's something inside of your laser printer called a fuser. And that's probably the thing that gives off the heat that makes the ink stick. Um, it is the component that fuses or adheres the toner to the paper. When it is not fusing correctly, toner can be become smudged on the paper. If non-fused um, if non-fused toner sticks to the rollers, blah, blah, blah. It says, um, so you might need to have your printer repaired. Or, let's see, is there another explanation? HP layers. Okay, go away. Uh, it could also be your cartridge as well, could be contaminated or something. Um, so it yeah that's like the things that, that it says it's either your fuser or it could be the, tar the cartridge so you can get another cartridge of one of the colors like maybe black and print something in all black with it and see if that fixes the problem maybe it was the cartridge or if it doesn't then it means it's the fuser that's not working how old is the printer? But yeah, that's that shouldn't happen at all. And you and and honestly, 
you should throw away anything you've printed like that because if the toner is is loose, that's really bad for you. So um, having the toner like smear and go on your hand is really that's really not healthy. That stuff's like a carcinogen. You don't want to mess with that. So I chuck those business cards out. Oh, it's an all black cartridge. Yeah, barely used till recently. I would say, did you get it brand new? The printer. I would say maybe the cartridge. I would go get a different cartridge from a different... And if you just got the cartridge... Well, you said you had it five years. Well, I would get one from, you know... I would get a new cartridge. I would get a new cartridge. It sounds like you're... Try the toner cartridge option first. Because the other option might be more expensive to fix. I don't know. So I'd get another cartridge. Um... And see if that fixes the problem. Because maybe it's the cartridge. Maybe because it's old. You know, I don't know. Because it says it could be the cartridge or it could be the fuser, which is in your printer. But yeah, well, as soon as you said that, I was like, wait, <laughs> there's something wrong if that's smudging. You can get just regular simple backgrounds from that that are really pretty from these sprays that just blend so nicely together. Um, I want to try and see if my pink is working properly or not. If it's not, I'm going to punch it in the head. I may have to adjust my formula a little more. spots. That's what I want. Like that. Cool. Cool.
You're welcome. I hope that you're able to figure it out. Oh man, did you have to explode on me? It wasn't tightened all the way, I don't think. Thank you for that, jackass. Red Fred. I don't like the splatters. They always end up staying and looking stupid. Again. Why are you leaking all of a sudden? Like a crazy freaking blowhole. What's up with you? What's the matter for you? What's the matter for you? You got problems? You got issues? You need to go to the hospital? Quit being a jackass. I think it's splattery, but geez. Stupid red. What's wrong with 
head, stupid red. Everything's a carcinogen. <laughs> but titanium dioxide is not nearly as, uh, what do you call it, um, deadly or harmful as toner. Because toner has plastic in it. It's literally plastic. And... And also toner, like that kind of pigment is heavy. It doesn't just like float in the air, but toner does. So if it, if you're, if you swipe that toner, it's, it, the, the particles are so tiny on it, it goes into the air. Whereas with uh, the oxide or the titanium white pigment, artists use it all the time because it's not a, it's not a real, real light pigment. It's not just going to fly up in the air. And, you know, I don't sit there and use and just slam it down. And then it, you know, it's not that kind of thing. Um, any pigment, you know, is bad for you to breathe in, but it, different ones have different heavinesses, if that even makes sense. And so it depends on the heaviness of it. Whereas toner is literally like plastic and other chemicals that are extremely toxic and it's extremely lightweight. So it, it doesn't take much for it to go into your, to go into your lungs at all. Like, you know, because it, it gets airborne very easily, which is why they say not to, you know, not to touch your toner cartridges and not to touch any kind of dry toner or try to replace the toner in your cartridges on your own. But any pigment is a carcinogen if you shove it up your nostrils. <laughs> I don't plan on snorting it, but hey. No, but I don't. You know, I take, I take it and put it in the bottle, but I'm not like taking big things of it and like doing that. And it's such a heavy pigment. I don't know if I like that area anymore. Damn it. I used to like that area. Not now. But yeah, any of the, any kind of thing that you could potentially breathe in is going to be a, you know, not good for your lungs, obviously. But I'd rather take my chance with that than toner. Because I've heard some horror stories about toner. Which is why I never got an, a laser printer for like the longest time. Because I was always, I always liked laser prints much better. But <laughs> they always made me nervous because of the toner cartridges. They have so many warnings on them. Like, don't, you know, don't do this, don't do that. You know, <laughs> like... Jesus. But after I did some reading on it and stuff like that, I realized, okay, well, I'm not going to be touching the dry toner pigment stuff. At least I don't plan to. And I even use gloves when I replace my toner cartridges. I'm afraid of it getting on my hands. My luck, it would get on my hands and I'd pick my nose or something. <laughs> I wash my hands pretty regularly. Germaphobe. Germaphobe. Hi, Candy. Uh, 
Oh, you have bursitis? Of course has that. Purple Mountain's Majesty.
das aber auch kennen. Ja. Now St. Helens It's gonna explode. Watch out. It's gonna erupt. Drive me nuts. Act. Right here looks like a rose is in. Yeah, it could be, I guess. Yeah, it could be formed into one. It could be. It sure could. I think we need. I know what we need.
That's right, I am casting a spell on some guy. Who, what guy? <laughs> what guy? What happened? I'm out of the loop. What? Out of the loop. Out of the loop. In the poop. In the zone, the auto zone. It looks cool. Cool. Actually, I want to do the bottom a little bit more with a dark purple and a light purple. And kind of like make them kind of. Like that. Gotta have the sound effects or it doesn't work. Cool. How come the black came off? Um, yeah, I I spray it on and then I dry it. I spray the color on and then I dry it. And just before it's completely dry, I spray it with some water so that it will spots of it will move and be able to be picked up and then leave behind the color. These are the sprays that I made um, by accident and they came out really cool. I have a DIY on my channel on how to make them, but they're a really good mixed media spray. They're, they're fun to use. You don't even have to do this method. You could just spray them and make cool backgrounds with them. They work pretty well for that too. My hands are a reflection of how much fun I've been having. <laughs> I think this one came out cool and I just used two colors on that one. Actually two different oranges in the background and the green and the teal on the top. Two layers I should say. I like that one a lot. <laughs> Excuse you, get over there. 
What am I supposed to do with this sucker now? Just dry it. It'll come off on its own in, in literally like two days from washing my hands, doing everything else. It'll just come off. By Thursday, it'll be pretty much gone. By Thursday, it will be gone. Let's see. Where did I take my... Galaxy hands. <laughs> I don't worry about cleaning it off my hands because as I wash my hands and take a shower and stuff over the next couple of days, it all just wears off. I mean, I'll go scrub my hands once and it'll get, you know, some of it off and then whatever stained on my hands, which is a lot of it, will wear off as I wash my hands over the next couple of days. I don't worry about it. I can't wear gloves when I'm crafting unless I have to for something, but otherwise, I don't care if my hands look like that. Ew, no, no, nail polish remover. No, nothing will take it off because it's dyed into my skin. Nothing at all will take it off. There's not one thing that will take that off my hands. It is literally dyed into my skin. And it's like a piece of fabric. Once you know, you have something like black ink into a piece of fabric, into a piece of fabric. There's nothing that will take it off except soaking it in bleach, but I doubt that would even take it completely off. And obviously I'm not soaking my hands in bleach, but yeah, there's nothing that'll take it off your skin. You don't want to put nail polish remover on your hands anyway like that. And it wouldn't do anything anyway. Because it's, they're literally dyed. It's literally in the skin. It's the color of my skin. Some of the paint will come off. Like the, the more chunkier stuff will come off. I have a, a thing and that'll come off. But it, I'll still be like purple and stained big time. But I don't really care. I don't care. It don't bother me. I don't like when my hands are sticky, but I don't care if, it, if they're like painty or dyed or, you know, inky. I don't like sticky hands, though. As long as they're not sticky, which they're not. And I don't really care. But that's like alcohol ink. You can... If you put alcohol ink anywhere on your hands, <laughs> it ain't coming off until it wears off on its own in a couple days. I mean, you can lighten it slight, very, very slightly with some alcohol, but it's really not going to do nothing. No, not even. I'm a cosmetologist, too. I went to school for it, so did Janie. We went to school. We had dresses. No. I didn't work in a salon, though. I didn't want to. I did private things. Like, I would do, like, hair for weddings and proms and stuff. I would go to them and do it. But I don't... I didn't want to work in a salon. No, hydrogen peroxide won't even take that out. Believe me, I've tried everything over the years. Nothing, absolutely nothing will take it off. I've tried every soap, everything. And there's even websites that, or YouTube videos of people that 
experiment with different things and when they use inks and stuff like that and none of it comes off and you can get it to lighten a little bit but it ain't worth it it ain't worth it when i don't really mind it it'll it'll wear it literally just wears off in a couple days it's gonna take a while to dry because it's got some clumpy crap on there so i'll let it dry over there at least I have some good drop papers that can be some for good for collaging. Collaging. Collage. I wonder if it will work on my metallic paper. I will try that. I, mean, I imagine it would work, but I'll just try a piece of the silver. Let's see. I don't see why it wouldn't. Mm. <laughs> oh, you got you got jaded by a fantastic Sam's. <laughs> Janie has her license. I didn't keep up on mine because there was no point or do anything with it, you know, or anything because it was a pointless, I did not want to do it for like a full living. I decided I did it because I was able to do it in high school, you know, go to cosmetology. And that was the only reason I really, I mean, I kind of wanted to do it, but I didn't want to do the things that, you know, I didn't want to like work on old ladies hair and stuff like that. I wasn't interested. Well, you just made a river right across there, didn't you, fool? Well, then this is what I'll do. water on it to get it off. Ooh, maybe I will. No, no, not really. It just comes off pretty easily.
Hi, Laura. 105 mile an hour winds. Good lord. Is that, is that that hurricane that came ashore? I thought that came ashore and, and kind of went off already, or no? The one over there. Cool. It's hard to show on camera because it just shines out, but I like that. I like it. Oh, I would like to stick some purple down here and here, specific areas. Day review. Well, what do they expect you to do? Yeah, you don't take appointments, so how are they expecting you to? If you're, you know, you're a brand new stylist just out of school, and they expect you to have a following, <laughs> like how is that even? It's so stupid. I've heard horror stories about like supercuts and Fantastic Sam's, and you know the crap that they put you through there. I had friends, and you know that are that were in school that did that, that, you know, went that route because you almost ha kind of have to. And it was a literal pain in the ass for them. Wow, that's crazy. Oh, I like it better that way. Purple bold dots. I think I better get off here. My tooth is starting to bother me. And I don't want to be in pain on here. I don't want to get this cleaned up and go to bed or do something to get this to go away. on these guys. That's not the right cap. That's not the right cap. That's the right cap. They all need their little caps. Stuck. <laughs> Oh, thanks, Jamie. I hope it gets better, too. I'm so tired of dealing with this now. I'm week number two of this bullshit that I'm so tired of dealing with. Mm 
All the caps on. Get all the caps on. Looks like they're all on. Oh, you're not on. Where's your cap? Where'd you go, fool? What's with the caps being missing? Hmm? Are you trying to piss me off? Let's see if any of these fit. No. 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 Okay, thank you. Thank you for your non-support. Where'd it go then? Jackass. Mm. Nope, nothing under there. Nothing back there. Hmm. It's the magic missing cap. Oh well. Let's see if one of these caps over here will work from these bottles. They might. Yep. Good enough. Good enough. Have a good night, everybody. Thanks for hanging out. I'll see you later. Poodle Pack out. Pink Poodle Crafts, join the Poodle Pack. It's time to get creative and make you laugh. Make your own art today. Pink Poodle Crafts is the way. What a good boy.